Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash Crafter and welcome to today's very special new series as well as today's new episode. I am beyond excited because there's a new game that I'm obsessed with. It's called Palea and today we're going to be playing it. I actually played, so they had a closed beta for this game and I played in the closed beta by my, like by myself. I didn't record it or anything. And I was so in love with this game that I was like, I, I have to do a series on it. I can't not do a series on it. So it is a MMO survival crafting game. If you guys don't know what MMO is. It stands for Massive Multiplayer Online. So this game is online. We're going to be seeing other players from all around the world running around playing with us in our server. It's going to be so cool. But alongside of that, we get to craft, we get to hunt, we get to fish, we get to romance characters, create a house, and then design it. Now, this is going to be a different style of video than I normally do. This is going to be a long play video where I basically commentate it similar to how a live stream goes, except for in this case, I'm not actually live, uh, but it's going to be long, sort of like a live stream is, and I'm just going to be talking through my process through the entire time the way I would if I was live streaming. So it really is going to be so much fun, and I wanted to show you guys my entire experience through my first day one of Palea. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back, relax if you guys want to do your homework or play along with me or take a nap, put this on in the background while you're doing chores, whatever it may be, however you like to consume your content or watch this video, I hope that you enjoy it. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the world of Paleo. I cannot wait. We get a nice photosensitivity warning here, which is really nice. And I want to give that to you guys as well as you're watching this, this playthrough. But here we go. Here is our village values. Be a responsible neighbor, be a kind neighbor, and be a helpful neighbor. This game is so centered around being kind and helpful to your other the, the other players in this game and your friends throughout the journey of, of Palea and stuff like that. So it's really nice. We will embrace diversity and reject discrimination. Uh, discriminatory language behaviors we will work together every player is new at some point so help them uh take care of ourselves so yeah this is kind of a cool game where you can play solo if you want to but you can also do the mmo thing and make friends and play online with other players so it's pretty cool but we're starting this journey oh my gosh look how beautiful we get the purple smoke. There's like some purple haze. Purple, <laughs> purple haze. There's like some purple smoke going on. Okay, so it looks like we're this orb. We're we're sort of manifesting into this world. I'm excited. Let's. Uh, so I think, I think is this the girl body? There's a bird boy and girl. You can be whoever you want to be. Yes, I believe this is the girl body. I actually really like this outfit already. And like I said, I played the closed beta, so I have an idea of how I want to create my character. So hopefully I can make her kind of look similar to what I had before. I think I chose this first face, but I do want to show you guys the options because there's a lot of really nice options for different facial features and structures. So I think I'm going to choose the first one. I think uh, I'm going to try to make her look like myself. And this is the one that I think looks the most like myself. I also have very, very pale skin. So I'm probably going to go with either this one or this one. This one actually got like a little tan to it. I kind of like that. Like it's summer and she's uh, tanned out. I like it. Okay, so I have brown eyes. Although I don't know if I want to give her brown eyes. I have really been loving the green eye green like doing green eyes on my characters lately because i secretly wish that i had green eyes but yes and then we also have voice options let's see here what we got what is that huh <laughs> what Yoo -hoo. Yoo -hoo. Hey. oh that one's cute okay hey. oh that one's really cute okay i like that one hey, hey. hey it's hard it's hard to that one's cute too maybe maybe we do oh gosh wait i don't know oh <laughs> hey. 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 i think i'm gonna choose voice three i think i like that one the best so let's go into hairstyles i mean look at this we have some braids oh wow that looks awesome that's so cool and 
that's cute that is adorable little bun up that's usually a style i would go for we even have mohawks if you want to do a mohawk there's lots of really fun hairstyles pigtails but i have one specific in mind that i am obsessed with and it is this one it's the short braids i wish so badly i could do this with my hair but i can't my hair is too long <laughs> and also not thick enough sadly it's very i have very thin hair but anyways we are going to pick our primary color here. I My hair color is pretty much black. Like I said, trying to kind of make this character look somewhat like myself. Uh, so we can pick secondary colors. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I wouldn't normally do this kind of stuff, but that's actually super cool. Oh, there's all kinds of colors. You can do purples. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm just going to stick with... Just dark. We've also got hair patterns. This is kind of cool. Not too much of a difference there, but um, I think that I think that looks nice. Not on this hairstyle, at least. Okay, so let's go in. You can add glasses. Glasses. I don't wear glasses, so we're not gonna go for that. And then we have our outfits. So tons of starter shirts that we can choose from. Uh, lots of nice little options here. You can kind of mix and match the the tops and the bottoms i would like to go i actually really like this jacket that we're wearing i like how it poofs out at the bottom i think that's really adorable so we can go with a detailed one or we can go with a plain one i'm thinking we go with a plain one and i sort of want to go with a blue theme although i will be switching up my outfit here and there um, I might go with green sometimes or orange sometimes. I think that would be fun. And then, of course, we have to go through and pick our bottoms. This looks really amazing. I love the the boots, how tall the boots are. I feel like a combat, combat expert, like I'm ready to kick some butt. We have tons of options. Skirts, shorts, pants. You can really do whatever you want. I think because it is the middle of summer as I'm playing this, I want to go for some shorts. And I like these little sandals as well. They're like little Nike slide <laughs> looking sandals. And it only makes sense, right? That we match, we match the outfit. So this is my girl. I'm super stoked. I think she looks so cute. Now, was there, oh, oh right, skin. Okay, so we can do makeup, which is cool. I wanted to look into this a little bit because we have this sort of like red eyeliner going on and I wanted to change that, but it doesn't look like we actually can. So I'm trying to see if maybe there's like an eyeliner style that we would want to go for. Kind of like that one. It's very subtle, but also gives a little definition to her eyes. I think that's good. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. All right, so we're going to go ahead, finish the look. You will not be able to change your body type, face, skin tone, eye color, or voice after your character is created. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So this is where I get to pick my character name. All right, so because I did play the closed beta, I already used Nash Crafter as my name there. So you guys can add me on there. That's kind of the, the save that I'm going to be playing solo on, like in my free time. This is going to be my YouTube save. So this is going to be another Nash, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to create my nickname. I really like that you can create a nickname. I think that's actually quite cool. So there we go. I'm another Nash. Just, just another one. <laughs> just another Nash in the world. Um, but here we go. You to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. Whoa, who is that? Who is that? Who is that talking to us? Look at how beautiful this art is. There's butterflies and, and a podium and these trees look amazing. Oh, I can't even wait for you guys to see how beautiful this game is. Like, it is so gorgeous. I'll talk, I'll be gushing about it all, all episode, but I'm just... Oh, it's just bliss. Like this game is bliss for me. I'm so obsessed. I love it so far, but I wanted to bring you guys on the journey, of course. So that's what we're going to do. So today is the open beta. I'm kind of expecting us to run into a little bit of bottlenecking and a little bit of possibly some crashes or some overloading of people trying to play the game. But wait, I think we're butterflies. Oh my goodness. Where are we? This beautiful mystical land, these glowing flowers, this temple arch. Is this where? Oh, it's a beautiful phoenix. 
Wow, it is a beautiful phoenix. The phoenix temple. Oh! This is so cool. Oh, she, she brushed off the shrine and it looks like our purple orb is arriving into Palea. Here we go, guys. This is where our journey begins. Oh, there we are. We're manifesting from nothing. This is so cool. Look at our little shoes. <laughs> oh my. A human in a strange world. She's so cute. What a character. The character creation is so good. Oh my dragon. So this is Gina? I believe. Oh my dragon. D did you just materialize out of nowhere? I honestly have no idea. More like a spiritual pink void. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Or well, I'm here, aren't I? Um, I kind of like this one. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I'm not sure where we came from, to be honest. Wow, I mean, I'd heard humans had started appearing out of nowhere. Nowhere in sacred sites around Palea. But I didn't know that meant appearing literally out of nowhere. I didn't realize we would appear out of nowhere either, Gina. So I don't know how we got here. I guess that's a mystery of Paleo, right? We're going to figure that out. So I'm excited. Uh, right. We'll talk about all that later once you're settled in. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper? He's been keeping others like uh, he's been helping others like you get settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here, and I'm this close to figuring it out. I'm so caught off guard, I realize I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. My name is Gina. I'm the apprentice scholar researching old researching these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant Helka. Hecla. Hecla. <laughs> uh be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I've gotta get back to the grind. I like it. Movement controls. Okay. I love that the characters talk um, in the background. And, like, you still have to read everything, but they do, They will say little phrases and talk to you. It's really, it's really cute. So, navigate the world. We get to use the Wasta, looking around with the mouse. That sounds pretty good. So, yeah, we can take a look around the Phoenix Shrine here. Look how incredible that looks. It's beautiful. And we have Hecla here large robot so we need to find ashura in kilima kilima is the main village so we're gonna have to go check that out but oh uh, you guys i'm definitely gonna stop to just look around and look at everything really take in the game because it is just marvelous i love all the little small details they've added to this game too so we also have some jumping and climbing. Some obstacles can be jumped by pressing a space bar uh, and just press forward uh, to walk and climb. Awesome. So understood. Sounds pretty easy. Looks like our first mission's here. Press the space bar when moving forward to jump. Okay, I think I can do that game. I think I'm capable. <laughs> Beautiful. We did it. And then if we just hold space bar, we should be able to climb that, that vine looking stuff. Oh yes, I'm a true explorer, climbing the vines to my new world, my new home. All right, here we go. We're entering the unknown of Palea. Oh, and we're, we're, I mean, hello. We're welcomed with waterfalls. This is amazing. Look at the village. This is our new home. This is where we're going to be living for the foreseeable future. Welcome to Palea, guys. Wow. So magical and wonderful. Oh, like I said, this is where it all begins and our journey starts. Okay, so that's where we need to go. We need to go check out the town. I just, I really need to take in this view for a second because we've got windmills in the distance. This raging waterfall is um is a bit crazy though. <laughs> and look, our first uh, other MMO player here. Like I said, we're going to be seeing players running around because this is massive multiplayer online. So anyone can really join us. Although I think servers are capped at 25 players per server. So when you go to a new section of the world, I think you enter a new server. 
Um, and then when you go back from your house to town, it'll put you into a new server is what I believe. We also can have friends in this game, which is going to be incredible. Uh, so I'll be inviting you guys if you want it, or you can invite me. You guys saw another Nash is my username. But here we go. All the small details, the lanterns, the light posts, the waterfalls. Oh, it's going to be an adventure. I cannot wait. I am just itching, itching to get into this. Am I seeing something back there? Hold on. Can I actually get back here? I can. Oh, yes. I'm definitely seeing something back here. Chess. Hidden chess. There are little surprises throughout the map that we can find. So this one's pretty easy. Five gold right off the bat, some leather, and it looks like we got a chest of our own. We have the action bar here, so we can scroll through two different action bars. It's basically like our full inventory. Um, so yeah, we can... There we go. There's our our action. Well, that's what it looks like when it's full, which is nice. But let's go. Let's get this party started. Let's get this journey started. I like this little gazebo. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's amazing. It's so adorable. Oh, just just don't mind that. <laughs> it's open beta. <laughs> just, just don't mind that. Oh, he ran away. He broke free. We do have a lot of creatures to explore in this game, so that's going to be one of them. Very interesting. We need to find Ashura. All right. Oh, here's Shane, I believe is how you pronounce Margie's the name. Blessing. We can talk so another child of the phoenix joins our little village i must i must say today is a lovely day to be born it is because everyone's being born today it's just great i am shane the local ritual sage and devotee of maji uh the great dragon it's my job as kilima's healer and sage to care for our village both physically and spiritually so how are you feeling? I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. The world, this world is amazing. It's a little over overwhelming. It's, it's definitely amazing. I would not say overwhelming. It's just everything and more. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Keep that positivity and you'll overcome any troubles this world offers you. I do not know why the gods brought you here, but I'm sure there must be some great plan in store. I look forward to seeing it. Now you'll want to speak to Ashura before you do anything else. Just take this path towards the village. He'll be in the big building with the keg out front. Remember, okay. Clear your mind. Sounds like something we can find. Oh, clear your mind and the answers will come. <laughs> very, very uh, spoken, spoken beautifully, I must say. And uh, speaking of beautiful, I'm going to gush for a second more. And I want to say, guys, this is a free to play game. If you want to play it, you can go to their website, Paleo.com, and play this for free. It's a free MMO. It's so good. So I'm not gushing about this game because they're paying me or they're giving me anything. I genuinely am obsessed with this game. And I genuinely think they did an incredible job. And it's so beautiful. And that's just all speaking from my heart. That's all true. And I mean, just look around. It is, it's so pretty. I can't, I can't say it enough. But Let's go see if we can find Ashura in Kilima Village. Right. Oh, we got a new NPC here named Tish. And look, more players just running around. That's what I love about this. You see people run around and do things. It's so awesome. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Okay, that's going to be my favorite store. You guys know I'm a builder. I love building and crafting. So here we go. That's going to be my place. Uh, I just materialized from the void or I just moved in. I feel like if we mention that we materialize from the void, I think it's going to scare people a little bit. So I'm just going to say that we moved in. <laughs> just be, be a little low-key about it, you know? Uh, so excited, but also tough. Yeah, or so exciting, yes. Uh, a little bit tough, yeah. When my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Well, more than a little in his case. I wonder who her brother is. Uh, but if you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. I know as a, uh, I'm, I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. A grump whisperer. I wonder who's the grump of the town. Again soon. Maybe that's something we need to ask. Oh, oh chaos ensues. <laughs> Just animals being chased through the village. Okay, very nice. And we've got our first shop here. This is the, the center of the village. We're going to be entering all the shopping areas, so... 
This is quite cool. Ah, we have a library. Very nice. I don't know if we can actually do anything in here. Or if this is where, you know, NPCs will hang out. But I like looking at the decor of everything. There's even a little water tank. I know this might be a really interesting reference. But, so, like, when I was playing the closed beta of this and I was walking around, I had two feelings when I first started. The first one being, this reminds me of Toontown. And I don't know why. Have any of you guys played Toontown? It's, like, an old game that you would download on your computer, I think. And, and then it was, like tunes you were a tune and you get to run around this town and i don't know why but i got toontown vibes and then i also got whenever i walk in the shops in palea i get disney world like if you've ever walked around disney world or universal City studios and walked into the shops and the buildings there's this like feeling that you get where it's just like oh wow who are you nai nio Oh, hey, you must be new in town. I'm Nio. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, not to get a little thirsty here, but whoa. <laughs> you are cute. We can't romance people in this game, just saying. Um, my family runs the Daya Farm over on the west side of Kilima. Oh, a farmer boy. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, if you need someone to show you around the barn and teach you how to ride a, ri a riff rock, I'm your guy. Oh, yeah. I would love that. I would love that. Oh, he's so cute. Look at how excited. I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff if you need anything heavy lifted. Alrighty, then. Uh, oh, here's a, here's a carrot for Sugarfoot. Give her one of these and you'll be her new best buddy. Sugarfoot? Who's Sugarfoot? I'm always here to help. Oh no, now I gotta figure out who Sugarfoot is. <laughs> Anyways, like I was talking about guys before I got distracted by beauty, uh, <laughs> is that this game reminds me of Disney World. When you walk into the shops, you're walking around Disney World, you kind of get this feeling of just like, wow, this is so magical and, and fun and I love looking around. Like that's the feeling that this place gives me. I love it so much. And look at this. This is the furniture store. This is where I'm going to be frequenting regularly. You can buy different types of furniture here. I mean, this bell flower. Well, look at this fountain. Regal fountain. 3,000 gold, though. There is currency here that we do have to, you know, we, we got to save up our money. But look at this thing. Look at the furniture. It's so beautiful. And you even have little trinkets and knickknacks. I love when games add this kind of stuff. Like little clutter objects. So that is the furniture store. Let's head over to the next shop. I know we have a mission to do, but I'm getting distracted. Hey, it's Zeki. Zeki. Oh, wow. Look at his player character is uh, some sort of mouse. Does he have four ears? That's very interesting. And a tail. Hmm, welcome to the general store. This is where I assume we'll sell wow. things and um buy things that makes sense being a store <laughs> general store uh actually you look like you're fresh out of the ruins so i guess i should say welcome to living name zeki i run this here establishment come back when you've got some cash we'll take care of your needs we got vegetable seeds and fertilizer uh we got that pointy stick over there that kind of looks like a rake interesting all your basic farming what's it's in who's it's in what's it's gotcha zeki's price all right, Zeki sounds good. Look at this place. My gosh. It is so nice in here. Here's all the seeds. We've got the backpack upgrade as well, so we get more slots. We currently, actually, that's, that's a good, good show. We should open up our inventory and uh, check out what's going on in here. So we have our gold here. We caps at 300,000. Some people were saying, I don't know why that's a thing. I, I don't know why that's a thing either, but okay, sure. Uh, money is probably going to be pretty hard to get. So, you know, with time, we'll we'll do that and figure out ways of doing that. We also have re re Reomes? Re Renowns. Renown. Yes, Renowns. Earn Renowns for leveling up, developing relationships with villagers, and completing quests. Oh, and accomplishments. Okay, that sounds cool. And then we also have Paleo coins. Not quite sure what that is. That might be for the premium store. Now, this game does have a premium store. Yeah, it looks like these are our Paleo coins here. So you can buy outfits. This is pretty much the only thing in the game that you pay for so far. 
and you can buy little outfits and stuff. They're actually really cute. Um, there's a ton of really awesome ones. You can see them on your player character. I'm not going to talk about this too much, but um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy this and there's a lot of options. It's Since this is a free-to-play game, this is sort of how the developers are making their money and you can support them through the shop here, which I think is really great. I mean, it's a free game. They're giving us this incredible game to play for free. Um, so having a little bit of a cosmetic purchase you know cosmetic items that you can purchase i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's an extra way to support the developers on a game if you really really like it so i think that's cool i actually think that's a really interesting way of doing things back to the inventory though we have our tools going to be here we also level up our skills and i love that it tells us who is kind of in charge of each of the skills so we know who to find and then again here's our hot bar and then we can purchase upgrades we also have our map of the world here look at this you guys look how big this map is like holy crap it is huge so that's gonna be it's gonna be so fun to explore and there's even other locations like you can go into different areas there's other areas to go to it's so jimongo we're gonna experience all of it um so yeah we can pin quests this is where all of our quests are gonna be so find Ashura is definitely our our first one here it even tells us our rewards that's nice community we don't have yet but relationships these are all the people we've met nice and then accomplishments our little accomplishments for doing things in the game i really I like this. I love a good questing game. I love a good accomplishment grind. I won't lie to you guys. Uh, this game also has emotes, which is so fun. <laughs> um, I kind of want to switch out maybe some of these. I don't want to point. I don't want to point at people. That's always considered rude, isn't it? <laughs> and then shock. Should we do shocked? We have a wave. We have wave there. We have no laugh. Clap. Do we have clap on there? We do. Help. Thank you. Oh, thank you's cute. Yeah, and we don't have that one. Let's do that instead of shocked. You can be like, thank you if someone helps us or something. Awesome. Can we check out the store? I know I'm getting so distracted here, but we've got a carrot. Uh, can I sell some stuff? I can't sell that one. And then we got some leather from that chest that we found earlier. But check it out. We got arrows and, and smoke bombs. Oh, I'll talk about smoke bombs later. They're one of my favorite parts of this game. Ah. Oh, oh. It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Looks like baking stuff, cooking stuff. That's interesting. Okay. And then, uh, what is this thing? Lucky box. Okay, cool. <laughs> a big old lucky box full of, uh, looks like a vending machine. One of those little candy machines or something. Maybe we'll get some cool prizes out of it, but this is Zeki's. Nice. Okay. So, it's <laughs> another player right there. That's awesome. And then moving on to the next shop, just exploring town here. This is the clothing store. Beautiful. Oh, we can change. We can change our clothes here. We can look at all the fabrics. There's more. Uh, okay, this is, opens up the premium store. That's nice. Is there anything upstairs that we need to do or get finished or do or explore? Gel's room. Okay, someone's bedroom. <laughs> We're probably not friendly enough with uh, Gel. I don't even think we've met Gel yet. So we're definitely not friendly enough to be to be going in a bedroom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Here it is. Here is the big inn with the keg in front. So this is where we need to go to find Ashura, I believe. Ah, there is Ashura. Nice. And we can see on the little dial up on the top of our screen, that's going to show us where we need to go. So that's very helpful. But uh, hi, Ashura. Beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Welcome to Kilima. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. Hopefully we can stay here at the inn because we currently don't have a home. <laughs> we don't have a place to live. I'm sure the innkeeper at the Ormuz Horn. Ormuz. Okay. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. I should have read it before I spoke. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you can build yourself a tent. What do you say? You want to take on the great outdoors or take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. I'm not the camping type or I'm just glad to have a place to sleep. I think I'm excited to sleep under the stars. I think a tent, a little tent adventure is always a little, a little fun, you know? Uh, the night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. 
So let's see, to build a tent, you're gonna need to collect some materials. I've got an ax here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, um, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plot right now. You'll wanna take the road up the hill from the northeast here. I've marked the spot on your map, beautiful. Uh, if you if you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. You Sounds good. Thank you, Ashura. Wow, okay. I love this building. I mean, I love everything about this game. I should stop saying I love things because I love everything. Um, but who are you? This is Reth. I almost called him Zeth. I don't know why, but Reth. Uh, looking for plots. Uh, just take the road up the hill. Out. Okay, he's telling me to go. He's like, get out of here. You need to find your home. Uh, if you're looking for delicious stoops and stews instead, I'm your guy. Name's Reth, and you, but you can call me Trouble. Oh no, I don't know if I want to get in trouble with you, Reth. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Uh, stop by later, yeah. Uh, always happy to chat with a friendly new face. He does seem very oh, friendly and nice, though. Oh, better get your soup then. Oh, Kenley. I lost my Greetings, I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari. Honorable Kenley Bahari. What an introduction. The firstborn son of the late Kenjur Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari province, and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. I am the mayor of this fine village, but it is great, but it is a great pleasure to honor and welcome you here I among us. Oh, well, there's plenty of soup that Reth is selling, so I hope it's, uh, hope that feeds ya, my friend. So we need to find our housing plot. Now, the way that, uh, in the closed beta, I remembered how to find where to go home was to find the furniture store, which is this green building, and then go up from there. So, like, go... So find the furniture store and then go up the stairs next to the furniture store and just keep going straight. Because when I got com when or when I was first playing with closed beta, I was so confused. The map is really big and it can be a little confusing at first. And so I was thinking, yeah, I need I need, I need some I need to find some locations and some landmarks to help me. So I love the furniture store in the game. It's one probably my favorite shop, honestly. And that is basically where you go. Find the furniture store and head straight on up. It's like a uh, Peter Pan. Head straight on to morning. <laughs> uh, but here we go. This is where we're going to get to our land plot. Look at this. This is going to be our new home. We're checking it out. Making sure this round is... Oh. oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, they broke my sign. Well, it's not much, but uh, it's going to be home. Holy moly. Dang, what a strong guy. He looks so good. He looks so friendly, too. All right, let's go talk to Hodari. Hello, my me? friend. Oh. You talking to me? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Who else would I be talking to? We're the only two here. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, scum along. Scumming along. Scumming along. Interesting. Scumming along. Hmm, scum along. <laughs> A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Yeah, there is quite a bit of debris here. Mm, I don't know how we're going to be able to live on all this debris. We're definitely going to have to take care of that. Andari Pavel. Uh, Pavel Binding. Uh, what could I do for you? I sure sent me for a pickaxe. You can tell me how to... <laughs> you can tell me how you got those biceps. Oh, that's very, very forward. Am I in the right place? Or hi, I'm Nash. Mm, I think... I am Nash. Let's just be friendly and introduce ourselves. Nash. Hmm. Interesting name. Thanks. <laughs> Is that a diss? <laughs> like a low-key diss? Oh, well, thank you. Um, I assume Ashura sent you over here by sending... A, he's been sending a lot of new folks my way lately. Uh, so the whole reason... So the whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need y'all buried in mud. Agreed. Uh, in fact, that's one of, uh, this one's about ready to use if you want it. Just need a bit more work. I really like how they know that a lot of players are, like, it's an MMO, so a lot of players are coming in. They're not treating it like you're the only player in the world or the only human in the world. There's other humans and he's getting the plots ready for all of us. I, I really like that detail. I think that's, that's really cool. 
Uh, I see you've been, you've got your axe already here. Take this pick too. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would ya? Uh, mine and hung, uh, mine and hungry work. So you better take this too. My daughter says I, uh, I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more, uh, use out of it. Okay. Oh, you're giving me free food. Okay. Tool gathering plus press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Okay. Try gathering stone from a nearby rocks debris. Press and hold blank to start using the equipped. Okay. Press and hold R to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood nearby. Okay. Press E to gather the items that you have created. Okay. Odari, wish me luck. So here's all the debris. We need to press R. And there is our tool wheel. I like this. This is a very Animal Crossing. <laughs> very cute. Oh, I like it. All right. So if we go ahead and uh and break this down we'll be good to go but one thing that i learned from the closed beta is food is going to be your friend there's a bar over at the top where you guys can see it says my name another nash and basically that is called a focus bar now what the focus bar does is it actually will fill up when you eat food oh that's chop but there we go we ate our food and we got 50 plus focus so this focus helps you level up. So focus increases experience gain from all sources and is regenerated by food. So the more you eat, the more experience you're gonna get for doing tasks, which is really good to keep in mind because you don't wanna be chopping with no focus or using your, um, using your ax and stuff or using your pickaxe or doing anything that's skill-based without eating because you're just not going to get that much experience or as much experience as you would if you had focus. So keep that in mind, but let's break down these rocks and look at that bars going up. And another thing I noticed too while playing the closed beta is that when you pick up uh, items, it's actually when you pick up the item is when you get the experience. So it's not when you're doing the action, it's when you pick up the forgeable or the wood or the stone, whatever it may be. So, Hodari, I did it. I did it, my friend. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Hmm, found a lot of strange things in the mine, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. So, your plot, uh, it's your plot after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Glowing tube. We found a glowing tube. I, I must have missed that in, in, in me talking about everything. Okay. Well, he says bye. <laughs> a strange solution. Okay. Right. Here we go. Placing your bench. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Press blank uh, to enter placement mode. Okay. Rotate these. Okay, Q. I'm 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 not one for reading instructions. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm not one for it, but here we are. So I have rebound a few of my keys. Um hey, and we're getting some chats from people. That's really cool. <laughs> that's awesome to see people interacting and, and stuff but yeah look at my plot guys so it is uh it is quite cluttered we need to take care of a lot of this and get everything all sorted out but first things first i need to put my bench down so what i was saying is that i rebound some of my hotkeys so when you first enter the game you're you're um uh, placing down objects or placing down on the grid is probably going to be a different one but i've rebound a lot of my keys to just be so I don't have to move my fingers as much um, if that makes sense uh, but yeah we're gonna go into tab mode this is how we enter our sort of building mode in the game which is quite cool so we get this grid and again I love the way they did this I think it's so good you go uh, click the item in your hot bar using the numbers on your keyboard and then you can rotate like this and it snaps so small the grid is so small but it gives you so much movability but i love that you still get the snapping it's just great it's great developers if you ever watch this video big claps on many things in this game uh but yeah the grid and the building in this it's chef's kiss done so well i love it all right, enough gushing. Nah, shut up. <laughs> we know you like the game. <laughs> Anyways, pressing tab to get back out of this mode, this build mode. 
Here is our work table so we can make a storage and a makeshift tent. We need to collect some more resources for this stuff though. Some fiber, some wood. We're going to have to clear out our plot of land anyway. So I think it's time to get work and let's go ahead and just break all of this stone. There's so much for us to clear out and we're already getting quests too. Craft a wooden storage and place your storage chest. And then craft a tent at your workbench and then place your tent. All right, sounds easy enough. All right. Also, I have to say, so far, the open beta is running very smooth. I haven't had any issues. Um, no overloading either. It's been really good. This is our first day, so I don't know if that's going to play a role. But so far, it's been great. Been doing really well. Now, another thing to keep in mind with this game is there are, it's an MMO style, so you do, we do have time, we are going to have a day-night cycle, but some things are going to reset on a daily basis, such as gifting villagers when you give them gifts, um, that's going to reset every, I think, 24 hours, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong about that, but, um, fact check me if I'm not, <laughs> please, but I think... Stuff like that resets every 24 hours, but stuff like the furniture store, that will reset every in-game day. Um, I think a lot of the animals will respawn, um, and a lot of the objects will respawn every in-game day. So it's it's really good. And then there's some things like building a house that's going to take real time. So it's going to take like eight hours in real time, or crafting a copper bar or something like that is going to take like eight minutes in real time so there's it's a bit of a mixed bag there when it comes to that kind of stuff like um like how you accomplish things and the timing of it all but uh, you'll start to get it the more that you play so it's it's pretty awesome but here we go just gathering up a ton of stuff we still have some of our food points which is nice so we are getting that increased experience level chopping all the trees here we need to find a place to put our tent this is what we're going to be living in for the foreseeable future until we can actually get a house. Oh yeah, let me let me chop this tree. Come on, tree. It's a hard tree. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. Picking up this wood. Now, do we we're also getting fiber from this, so that's great. Okay, let me see. We maybe we put our tent over here. This could be good. I also picked up a mushroom. There's another one over there. We should We should probably go pick up a couple more of those. Boom and boom. Awesome. And then a mushroom. Pick that up. Mush mounted moral. Mor morel is what it's called. Let's jump over the fence and grab some more mushrooms. Beautiful. This whole area is, is our tree land. Our tree land and our rock land. There's more mushrooms, things growing in the wild. I also like that we have a little pond back here. This is really cute. And then we also have another little a pond right here oh i like that it glows and makes a nice little shining sound like you're near something spectacular pick it up <laughs> i think that's pretty incredible let's get all this out of the way i know i'm spending quite a bit of time cleaning up my area but we do we are gonna need the space so it's probably worth it in the long run all righty awesome is this uh has my tent gonna fit over here i'm not quite sure how much space we need okay let's Pick this up and then maybe go over. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. Clean that up. That should be enough space, I think so. All right, time to craft. And it says I can craft both. Make. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha Beautiful. Okay, we got our tent. Going back into my tab mode here. I think it's in the original. What was it? It was control, I think. So if you're uh, playing with the, this tent is huge, my gosh. <laughs> if you're playing with uh, the original keybinds, then it's, I think it's control. And I cleared out this space and I still don't really have space. That tree is sort of in the way. Maybe we take, take this tree out. All right, let's get, let's get rid of this. This one's in the way and probably the tiny one behind it too. They both need to be taken care of, taking care of business on my, my future farm home place i don't know <laughs> whatever you guys think it is all right going back into tab mode here pressing three. Oh yeah that gives us a lot more room nice i like that that's gonna fit right about maybe there oh 
Look at that. This tent is ginormous. But it gives us lots of space for crafting and activities and, and uh, decorating. So that's pretty neat. All right, another thing we need to do for sure is make storage. We need a couple more pieces of wood for this. So maybe just chopping down one more little hedge will be enough. And then I want to go back into town. So it says we need to talk to Ani. Oh, oh, there's Ani. Oh my gosh, Ani's at our house. <laughs> Hi, Ani. How's it going? How's it going? Phew, good. You haven't left yet. Yeah, I didn't even see you standing here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, what a cutie. My goodness. My mom, Delilah, told me there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kilima. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine, six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Oh yeah, especially with uh, how many players are entering this game. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Sorry, Ani. Do you like getting mail? Uh, you look like someone who likes getting, who would like getting mail. Yeah, I love getting mail, for sure. Uh, good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go, uh, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Okay. Head home soon. All right, this is a monumental moment, you guys. My first mail. Einar. Okay, what is Einar saying? Dear Nash, I have been informed by uh, Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you. A uh, new human. Other humans call me Einar. And I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Yes, we're getting our fishing rod. Exciting times. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. We definitely find, will find Einar. This, you guys, this is one of my favorite characters in the entire game. I, I'm i obsessed with him. I love him. I adore him. Everything that you could think... I love him so much. <laughs> you guys will see. He's so cool. Um, but the uh, please, yes, rod in your possession shall be located next to the. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna take the rod and we're gonna mark this as red. And then we have Hossian. So Hoss is saying to whom it may concern. City Hall requires I send this letter to new residents. You'll find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you about the available to tutor you in this use. During work hours, you can find me in Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. So this is Haas. I'm going to call him Haas. Haas. Uh, Haasian, I think is how you pronounce his name. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to call him Haas. Uh, so yeah, mark as red. Awesome. So, uh, Einar, Hiya. or I mean, Einar, <laughs> I just, I'm getting them confused already. Ani, uh, so how are you settling in? This plot is huge. I heard you can find some cool stuff in the dirt. Uh... My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I have ever seen seem to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Does this weird glowing tube count? Hmm. Let's go. Does this weird glowing tube count? Oh, wow. It definitely counts. Have you figured out what it does yet? No, I haven't. Hmm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in the ruins. You should see if she's found, if she's found something like this before. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I almost forgot. In all the excitement, I brought you brought a present for you, too. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. In all the excitement, I brought a present for you, too. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs. Oh, yes, we are getting into bug catching. This is so fun. Okay, I'm a member of the Killama's Best and Only Bug Catching Club. I love how he says it's the only bug catching club. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to run now, but if you stop, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru. Uh, to learn how to grow food and Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. I mean, okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> okay, just vanishing into the woods here. I, I gotta make my... I'll, I'll catch you later. I gotta make my storage, my friend. I need to make storage. I can also craft arrows. What do I need for this? Flint and wood. Easy. And some smoke bombs. Sundrop lilies and clay. Easy enough. 
So we just need a little bit more wood. I got so distracted. Okay, let's break this tree down and fingers crossed, hope that we get enough to make this storage because I do want to go explore the town a little bit more, but there it is. We are going to need a place to put our stuff because our inventory is going to get full pretty quickly, but there it is. All right, let's go put this inside our, our tent. Oh, I love it. This place is so cool. All right, we got this nice little grid we can follow. Let's uh, pop you right there. Storage solution. Beautiful. Now we can just offload all the stuff that we don't really need at the at this point in time. We got butter. Can't believe it's definitely butter. Well, nothing's better. Nothing's better than butter. That's true. Okay, so this is the ancient thing. It's unclear what this thing is meant to be, but I'm sure it looks important and ancient. Maybe someone will know what it does. Okay, nice. Let's uh let's offload all this stuff that is just really going to clog up our inventory. I'm almost tempted to put all of our rocks and flint and all that stuff because we don't really need that. And then we can put these up here and then we'll just put that in number one. Staying organized as much as we can is going to be good throughout this. But yeah, this is our little inventory. We can move one item or move the entire stack. It's good to keep in mind. And we can also filter out specific things. So very, very cool. And we got 400 capacity there. So very nice. Uh, as much as I want to stay here and uh, and look at my plot, I, I got to move on. I got to go do some more things and meet some more people. So let's uh, let's do it. It literally says, welcome to Palea. Leave your plot. It's like, go out, do things, go meet the people. <laughs> Don't stay on your plot the whole time. Welcome to Palea. Quest completed. We're so happy to welcome you to Palea. We started Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds that deepen players' lives. And we hope Palea lives up to that for you awesome as a startup studio we're so excited that you found your way to palea uh i can't live without players like you giving it a chance if you like what we're trying to do and support palea further uh the biggest thing possible to do is uh simply tell your friends and family about it it would mean the world to us that is so sweet yes 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 oh i didn't mean to click that so yeah understood here we go so uh we're officially in guys we're officially in to palea and we can now walk around and do things and hunt and and we have our bar here so we have our bow and our stink bombs our fishing rod so we are going to uh, experience all this stuff dazing insects i did mean to click that but we can go over this now it is one of my favorite features in the game that i think is so cool and so fun uh arc your shot and intercept the insects practice good timing uh, when the insect is hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to break away, but if they fail, they will become dazed and you can pick them up from the ground. There it is. There's all the little insects. Rare bugs have a higher chance to escape. All right. Very cool. And there's also other smoke bombs and stuff, but we do need to level up to uh, unlock those. So we have all of our levels here. We've got foraging doing pretty good and mining, of course. We have furniture making, bug catching, hunting, cooking, fishing, gardening, mining, and foraging. So all things we need to keep in mind throughout our playthrough as we go through this. The beautiful night here in Palea. I love it. Oh, yes. I'm seeing another NPC coming up here. Let's have a, uh, let's go see Sifu. Welcome back. Hey, uh. Sifu. Howdy, I'm Sifu, the blacksmith around these parts. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Ooh. She is badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you might recognize me as Sifu, the famous monster slayer. You look a little familiar. I just materialized from the mysterious void. You're that Sifu? Wow. Or if you have to brag, you're not that famous. I don't want to be harsh on her. I think let's let's uh, let's give it to her. You're you're that Sifu? Wow. <laughs> the very one. I like it. How did a famous monster hunter like me wind up in a quaint suburban hamlet such as this? Well, that's a good question. Fortunately, I have a good answer. I love that. You see, I have become a mother and I realized angering dangerous beasties was, well, a little too dangerous for my young son. So I took up the position of the town's blacksmith. These days, I make blades instead of wielding them. Okay. I like that. She did it for her son and their family now living in Palea. Good to see you. I was just turned, uh, turning down for the night with my copy of 200 Ways to Skin a God Cat. 
uh, that doesn't sound like very good late night reading. Although a lot of people do watch, you know, serial killer documentaries before they go to bed. So next time you slay a monster, tell it Sifu sent you. <laughs> I will. I will for sure. I will for sure do that. That sounds. It sounds like it would intimidate them to the max, I must say. All right, so what do we got for quests? We have to ask Gina about the strange artifact. Can we find Gina? We could go find Gina and then talk to Baju to learn how to garden and then talk to Reth about cooking. So is Reth in the inn is what I want to know. I'm not thinking so because his little cursor would be at the top. And yeah, he's. I don't think he's in here. He's not... Ashura is though. That's cool. That's good to keep in mind. It is 1.30 a.m. in the game, so we're like, everyone's probably sleeping. <laughs> but I do want to go talk to Gina, so maybe we can go uh, start our bug collecting and then we can, you know, on the way and then we can go find Gina. So we do have to go about 200, 250 meters that way. So possibly, maybe we'll find her. They're, you know, I think they're called, I think they're called Chapas, Champas, something like that. I don't, I don't know their names, but we, uh, we do, sadly, we hunt them. Uh, but they're very cute little, like, fox-like creatures. And this is Delilah. It's nice to meet you, Nash. So this is, uh, Nye's mom, Niall, Niall's mom. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yep, <laughs> Ani and Niall. I'm Delilah, mother to Ani and Anaya, wife to Badru. Nice. We got to go talk to him. Where is he? I need to know these things. And the boss of this here farm, if you don't mind me saying so. If you're ever in need of some fresh pots of milk and a couple of eggs, be sure to give me a holler. I feel like she would have a southern accent. I'm going to try my best, even though this kind of sucks. I'm not southern. <laughs> um, if you see Ani, could you tell him that he left his shoes in the hallway again? I need sure. To be a bit rest at the moment. Oh, she's definitely not Southern. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we're exploring. So this is uh, the farm. This is where Delilah and Baju and my future husband, uh, Nayo, live. So, yeah. And, and um, Ani. Ani? Is that his name? There's also some pretty cool creatures over here. I want to show you guys because they're quite interesting. Uh, I don't think we have animal farming or taming in this game quite yet, but they are so cool. And I really want to be able to have them in the future. I don't know if they'll give us like milk or something, but Palea, please add animals and farming. It'd be amazing. But anyways, we found a chest with some gold. And some super sneak bombs. Ooh. We might have to go give that a try. That would be fun. I did want to go find some bugs. I'm supposed to be finding uh, Gina. Ooh, look at their crop farm. They have so many crops. So this is where Baju definitely does his harvesting. Oh, there's a bug. So you'll see these little creatures kind of jumping around or flying around. These are bugs. And then you take your little stink bomb. You throw it. Oh, I caught its attention, but it had a little lag there. Wabam. There it is. So it, we stunned it. We got our first one. Yay, we found a common field cricket. Nice. So we can catch bugs, we can sell bugs, and then I think if they're of good quality, we can even place them in our house, which is uh, cool as decoration, you know? Have little bug friends. So that's gonna be a great little way of decorating. I, I, do, I do say so myself. I'm out here trying to find more bugs. I would like more bugs. Oh, I heard like a little shiny thing. Like a little shing. I don't know what that was. That was very interesting. Any any bugs out here? I'm about to catch them all. <laughs> I've been watching Pokemon lately and it's got me in the mood to throwing throwing things at at creatures. That sounds weird, but yeah, that's basically the premise of of Pokemon, isn't it? Throwing things at creatures, throwing balls at creatures. Yep. That is what you do. Where is this leading us? I've never actually been out here. Oh, there's another chest. So there's hidden chests all over the place that you can find. Oh, I don't know if I... There, that is a beach. Can I... You guys think I could climb up there? There are some, like, vines and stuff. Hey, dodge roll. Nice. Wow, we are in a place that I did not expect to come to today. We're, like, way far on the beach. Okay, so... Can I... 
Oh, I'm swimming. Oh no. Okay, so it looks like I can't get up there. We might have to wait until a little bit later on in the game to figure out how to do that. That's going to be interesting. But hey, let's uh, let's look around the beach. I, I actually really haven't explored here too much. What is this stuff? Oh, it's like a dragon statue. The incense fills you with a calming warmth. Cool. I have never seen this before. That's really interesting. I really like the dragon dragon statues in this game. There's a couple that you can find. I've found one before, but I haven't found that one. That's really interesting. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we're bug hunting. We are bug hunting. That's for sure. Man, and I do I do have to say, I do feel like a Pokemon trainer <laughs> whenever I throw the stink bombs at the bugs. It, it does feel like that. It gives you that sense of like, yeah, I'm going to catch it. Oh, uh, it's so fun. We got to find Gina, but she's over that way. I guess let's just continue to work our way that way. Um, I kind of went to the farm and took a detour. Look at this little tree house. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I love it so much. There's so much atmosphere. They really did a good job with this game and decorating everything. The small attentions to uh, detail are what make it super good in my opinion, so very very nice oh there's another bug for us to catch okay oh and another one this one's super small hold on wabam gotcha don't escape yay we dazed it we got it and then this one this one may be a little bit harder boom okay it's not too hard to aim but so far none have escaped i'm feeling pretty good but there it is so yeah the starred ones are aquariums and terrariums so if you've caught a star quality item, star quality bugs and fish can be placed in their own terrariums or, or aquariums uh, within your house. So that is that is amazing. That was our first star bug. I think we should definitely put it in our house. I would love that. Oh, there is Padru. I need to talk to him. Oh. Oh my god, there's so many people to talk to. Padru, I need to talk to you. Oh, I love his dad puns. They're the best. Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Padru, the farmer. I sense we have some good times ahead. Oh yes, huh? he's the he's the king of puns and dad dad jokes. <laughs> Did I mention that in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy and a stand-up comedian. I forgot that. Sorry, Padru. I totally can't believe I spaced that one. My gosh. Um, can you teach me to garden, please? Uh, you've come to the right place if you care out about fresh quality produce. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. Of course, uh, if you had the kind that if if I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. That got so bleak so quickly. My gosh, I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great. Oh, you're so funny, <laughs> especially if you love the smell of amuro manure in the morning. I'll admit it is a bit of an acquired taste. Taste smell my friend i would say uh, i don't know if i'd be tasting that stuff if i was you uh tell you what meet me on your plot later and i'll walk you through the steps okay we're gonna learn how to farm i'm very excited gardening 101 looks like you're ready to swing by kenley he's our mayor so he'll get up uh get you set up with a new house oh Thank we're moving into line. getting our house oh that's exciting that is so exciting. Okay, so I did see... Wow, we have so many people to go meet. So many things to do. So little time. No, we have all the time in the world. Like I said, guys, this is probably going to be a longer video. This is this is sort of going to be in the style of a long play. Almost kind of like a live stream, except for you guys aren't actually here to chat with me. Maybe we'll do a live stream of this game in the future. But yeah, I'm just excited to uh, to be playing this and I, I didn't want to, I don't want to stop. I don't want to to edit too much. I just want to play and just show you guys my full day one experience of this game. So hope you're enjoying. If you are, please, you know, I'm going to say it. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be playing more Paleo on this channel for sure because I'm obsessed if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this longer form content video. Oh, I'm using this, uh, this butt. This big booty to get all close to you guys <laughs> anyways i gotta oh, talk you guys know anytime i'm near nile i need to talk to him because we gotta get that friendship level up right he's gonna be my boyfriend 
Um, <laughs> anyways, what's up? Let's chat with Niall. Looks like Ani uh, already left for his paper route. Mom had something she wanted to tell him, but I guess it'll have to wait until he gets back. Here we go. Ooh, this butterfly wants to be caught. Watch my skills. Watch it. This this uh, bug catching is what's what's really gonna get you to like me. I just know it. <laughs> hey, did you see that? Yes. Oh, I know you're impressed. Okay, I'll be back. Bye, boyfriend. <laughs> when I say that, I'm, I'm gonna call him that. I'm gonna be like, bye, boyfriend. And then I, it reminds me of, if you guys have ever seen the show Chowder, which is one of my favorite shows, kids shows ever, um, <laughs> in that show, the Chowder always goes, I'm not your boyfriend. And I kind of imagine that is how Nayo is like thinking of me. I'm like, bye, boyfriend. And he's like, I'm not your boyfriend. <laughs> Not yet. Anyways, okay, let me stop being weird. Let me stop being weird. I am... Oh, whoa. If you right-click, you can switch the bombs. Be very, very quiet. The smoke bomb that prevents you from alerting bugs. Okay. Cool. Well, I, I'm going to use up my, uh, my normal smoke bombs, but we got these bugs. I'm thinking that it possibly might be a good idea to go sell these to the store. And I go get a little bit of money and I'm I'm kind of assuming that everyone's in town hanging out. We do need to talk to Reth. We need to meet Badru back at my plot. We need to find Gina. We have so much that we need to do. But we're going here into town square. We also need to talk to the mayor, apparently. Ah, oh, there's Ani. Okay, beautiful. I need to talk to you. You're here. Awesome. You've got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you gotta catch a bug. Oh, you gotta take the bug scout oath. Just repeat after me. I promise to honor nature and all its creatures, to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Ani if you see anything really cool. Absolutely. So, I promise. Awesome. Welcome to the bug scouts. Pleasure to be a bug scout. I feel good about this. Hmm, why don't you try to catch something easy to start? Remember, though, certain bugs only come out at certain times. Okay, my family runs the farm down the road. We grow the biggest vegetables. My mom's won blue ribbons at the fair like a million years in a let's row. Talk yeah, let's talk tomorrow. Cool. Sounds good. Um, Yeah, I've already caught some bugs. I'm already ahead of the game. Ooh, you guys already know we gotta check the store. Oh, my favorite place. Look at how cute. Oh, they have so much cute stuff in here. I love this lamp. Oh, I like that. Industrial wall lamp. Ravenwood mirrors. So they have different sets, which is uh, really, really cool. I mean, look at this. The bellflower set, I think, is my favorite set in the game so far. Uh, just from looking around and kind of looking at all the furniture. I think the bellflower set is my favorite, and I cannot wait to decorate with it. But look at, like, they give you little examples and stuff, and, and I love it so much. It's a nice table, but they have like the homestead set. Oh, the Kilima Inn. That's actually so cute. Bellflower. There's another bellflower. They have more bellflower right there. And then again, all the little clutter items, which is so such an important detail. And I just got to say, uh, Paleo Devs, please, can we have plushies for our chairs? Please. Like, can this be a thing? Can we have this, whatever's in this window? Can we have this? seat please like uh, unless it's already in the game and i just i'm not aware yet because uh, you know this is a new game I'm, I'm not sure i've seen anything yet but please oh my gosh i'm begging you that is the cutest couch in the world anyways let's go see if we can find Reth in the inn i'm kind of not thinking that he's here because again he would be on my little dial up at the top okay it looks like Reth is 100 meters this way and gina's also this way too okay so yeah, we just gotta just gotta follow follow up here ah there you are breath what you doing out here this is such a such a random place to just stop and oh he, he was sleeping he was sleeping standing up <laughs> uh what can i do for you can you teach me how to cook whoa there you gotta learn to walk before you can swim unless you're a fish but i'm like 97 percent sure you're a human yeah definitely a human not a fish uh why don't you start out with making campfires a uh, campfire for your place. Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Okay. Oh, if you don't want to get stuck in the tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but hey, I won't judge either way. Awesome. 
uh, a chat. How exciting. <laughs> what shall we talk about in this little combo? This titi, uh, titi? This meeting of minds. I've never heard that before. Probably said it wrong. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know what that is. Oh. Um, if you're low on topics, might I suggest soup? Oh, I love soup. You know where to find me. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite meals is soup. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see people around. And like, this is what I'm talking about. I like these little carts and stuff. There's such cute little details. All right, so we found Wrath. Uh, I think Gina's gonna be next. So let's go up this way. Possibly, we're gonna have to go around this big gazebo looking thing. Now, where do I, where do I find her? There, okay, this is water. It's like a whole river. Uh, I can fish here. I mean, that would be fun. We gotta go see Einar as well at some point today. We will definitely do that. Like I said, he is probably my favorite character in the game. I'm really curious. Can I walk across this? Oh, heck yeah. The devs think of everything. Oh, I love it. So it looks like we're going up to some ruins up here. Ah, oh, more bugs. You guys already know. I'm the bug catching queen of Palea. Let's go. So my inventory is going to fill up soon if I don't uh, chill, though. <laughs> I do need to take it, uh, take it a little chill pill on the bug catching, but it's so much fun. I mean, I am just throwing these little balls, catching these little things. Okay, these jumpy ones are a little bit harder. Oh, it got away. That was our first one that got away. So you just throw another one if it gets away like that. It got away again. There we go. Oh, that one disappeared. But we got it. Nice. So yeah, you just got to keep throwing them. Um, sometimes you'll get it on the first go. Sometimes you got to throw a few. Um, but, oh bam. I am expert bug catcher. <laughs> so good. We are coming up onto some ruins here. Ah, look at this. I wonder what happened here. I'm sure there's a ancient secret story that we need to uncover. That's the whole part of exploring and, and getting to know games. More bugs! More bugs! <laughs> I will uh, take you home with me, little buddy. All right. Beautiful. So I'm thinking Gina is this way. Yeah, we're getting super close. I see the little little flag above her head. Beautiful. Can I talk to you? Oh, a good day for research, don't you think? Ha, it is. Very good. Uh, hey, Nash, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Uh, if you can call straining my back, finding this object all right. Okay, I'm going to be nice about it. Uh, yeah, I found something she'd be interested in. Really? What is it? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. Ah, oh, these were a power source for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you just found it under, under some old junk? Guess I'm just lucky or must be fate. Let's do must be fate. I'm not really a believer in fate per se, but this is uh, this is some coincidence. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Okay. I think having you around is going to be good for me. Oh, that's so sweet. I love, I adore her. She is just the cutest. Love her glasses and her just her character design is so amazing uh seeing you appear out of nowhere nowhere really made me rethink most of my assumptions about the world oh back to my research, oh, back to my research. oh we scared off the the deer oh my gosh i mean look at this guys these are old crazy abandoned ruins i want to explore i want to go oh i mean i can actually go in there I feel like we're not supposed to go in there yet. <laughs> I feel like we need to wait for uh, Gina to actually send us a message there. But Hecla, I can talk to you. What is what 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 is it you require? I like the robots in this game are so much fun. Uh, unlike other Galders, I have no memories of what this place was like before. Was like before due to the thousands of years I spent in excess item storage. I suppose I will have to use my imagination. Perhaps this area was once a great factory devoted to the production of shiny pebbles. <laughs> what do you think? A school, a great palace, or a bustling city? I think this was a great palace, I want to say. That's what I would assume. A palace for who? Why would humans need a ruler when they had galders to make decisions for them? I will be here. Oh. I... 
Ah! <laughs> the excited frustration is coming out. Look at all the beautiful bugs we can catch. Uh, my inventory is actually not getting that full. And I have six more left, so is it bug catching time? I think it is. You guys, this is what's gonna make me money <laughs> currently, so I'm actually doing this. This is it's gonna be helpful. I'm not doing this just to feed my itch of bug catching, I promise. I am uh, doing this for the coin, if you will. And I'm, I gotta say, I'm getting really good at this. I'm getting them on almost every shot. That is what I'm talking about. Expert bug catcher Nash, you can call me. I am officially a bug scout. And I, um, I take this role very seriously. This is a job that I, uh, that I, uh, don't mess with. There we go. Look at that one. whoop I am. So if we pick this up, look at that. We're almost bug catcher level two. Oh, we are, we are cruising. Although we do need to eat, uh, some food because my focus is low. And I mean, I'm not getting as much level points as I would if I had some focus points. So that does make me a little bit sad. Let's see, do we get a... Yeah, so we get a little bit there, but I think we would get more if we have yeah, one more. If we had focus, is what I was saying before I didn't finish that sentence. There we go. Congratulations, bug catcher is now level two. I'm really glad I didn't stop, and I'm glad I threw that last one. We officially made bug catcher level two. What an exciting day. Oh my, we are really cruising along, guys. So we need to go talk to the mayor. I think that's going to be the next stop on our agenda. See if we can get a house going. I mean, this is, like I said, we are cruising. Uh, getting a house seems like something that, I mean, dang. Like, I, I, I was I was cool with my tent, but a whole house? I can't wait for it. Decorating my house. We can get all the furniture. We can go to the furniture, furniture store every day. Look at their stock and, and buy some new stuff. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, so that's going to be cool. We do need to go craft a campfire. Uh, it looks like that's the mayor and he's currently sleeping, so maybe we go talk to Ani and go see what he has to say about the bug catching because we've just been we've been cruising on that and he's really close, so I think this is good and then we'll head back home, build the campfire, talk to Badru, and uh, yeah, oh, he's running. Do you see him? I see him. He's running away. I definitely want to go talk to Einar as well. I have to show you guys him. If I don't, I will be so upset with myself. Hello! Stop running away from me, I need to talk to you. <laughs> Ani! Hiya! So you know how the Bug Scouts has all those cool badges to earn, right? Well, I'm trying to get my entire pren... My entrope... My selling stuff badge. <laughs> are you trying to say entrepreneur? What are you selling? Mm, let's do what are you selling. We'll just assume he said he was saying entrepreneur. <laughs> um, I just got a new type of smoke bomb. The bug scouts are giving me a lot of great stuff to sell. Oh, here we go. This is our first shop opened. So what happens in this game is with uh, once you hit level two of each skill, you'll open a new shop with a new character or NPC in the game. So Ani is in charge of the bugs and stuff. So this is where you can, you know, you can get the recipe for this the sneaky bomb and it's 100 gold but we don't have that yet so um we're gonna have to come back but look at all this stuff we got the fine belt smoke candles honey lure so we can lure them to us supreme spoke bomb like that looks so insane and there's all kinds of stuff you guys there's also even decorative things bug catcher plaque like how cool is that and this Bye. the bug bug catchers insectarium like you need 980 and level 20 bug catching. Like, there's a lot to do in this game, and I'm super excited. Okay, bye! <laughs> Wait, apparently I need to talk to him again, and he's running away. No, I... Oh, wait! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know you have so many things to do. I know you have a million other humans to go talk to today, but I, I'm, like, really in need of, of you to just chill. <laughs> Please. Yeah, hungry. Oh, yeah? Uh, I caught some bugs. Great job. I wish I had uh, some kind of reward for you. Hmm, how about this? Mom uh, packed me too big of lunch and I couldn't finish. Hmm, it's not really a great reward, huh? Yeah, I suggest you check your mail later. But the real reward is fun you had learning to catch bugs. Am I right? Absolutely. I got so into it. All right, uh, yeah, you can you can go now. I feel like I'm going to set you free for, for a while because I feel like I'm taking all of your time. 
Um, okay, so really, really quickly, what I would like to do as well is go sell some of my bugs. We need to get some money. Uh, that's going to be how we buy those crafting recipes from the sellers in the game. So if we go over to Zeki's, uh, we look for the furniture store. It's right next to the furniture store. The furniture store is the green building. That's always how I keep it, keep it in check. Zeki's is the red building. This is where we can come and, and sell things. Zeki's actually here, which is pretty cool. So we're going to keep this butterfly and probably this bug, spotted stink bug. Although I don't know if I want a stink bug in my house. Maybe we'll just keep the butterfly and maybe we'll keep our first fish. That's star quality. I think that's good. But we can sell these items, sell these bugs and get some pretty good money for them. Look at that. Can I sell this? I can't sell that, but 271 gold already. How fantastic is that? And then we're going to want to come and buy some seeds later too. But I think we should go off and learn how to farm first. So it's time to head back to our farm and, and see if Budger's there waiting for us. I think he should be. Oh, is the mayor awake? You are. You are awake. Oh my goodness. Are you in here just chilling? Because if you are, <laughs> I need to speak to you. Mm, I actually don't seem to see him. Okay, yeah, it seems like he's probably in this room, which we don't have access to, unless he might be upstairs. Hold on, there's a possibility he could be... Oh, he is! He's in his office! Oh, this is good. Can I talk to you? Can I... Here, here we go. Make it official. <laughs> nice to see you out enjoying life in Kilima. I wanted to ask about getting a house, because I've been, I've been, you know, I've been sleeping in my tent for one day, and I'm already over it. <laughs> no, not really, but, you know. We're, we're progressing. We're doing good. A house? Mm, you're asking me. Well, personally, I inherited mine. <laughs> have you tried that? We don't know anybody. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Because you have just moved in. The er, plot. You didn't come with one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, sadly. I'm sorry. Uh, no matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Give me a moment. Okay, good thing we're in your office. I feel like that's a good place for paperwork. Oh, no. Where is it? Hmm... I shall tell you what, go find Tish, our resident, uh, resident carpenter. I'm sure she'll be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I locate these forms. Hmm. Okay. All right, we do need to talk to Tish, but there's so much we have to do back at our base that I think it's time to head over there. I've been just running around doing all kinds of quests, which is what's great about this. Love a good questing game, so it's been fun. Actually, just get to run around and, and have a good time. But time to go back to my house. I want to get this farming good to go because uh, that's going to make us money too. It's going to be a great way of making us money, actually, if we can if we can get uh, a lot of crops planted. We are going to need a lot of crops, though. That's a thing. So we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. All right, that wasn't too long and that was awesome. So Badru is here waiting for us. Awesome. Well, hello there. Let's uh... chat. Uh, good to see you again, String Bean. This place already starting to look different, is it? Oh, that's good. That makes me feel really good. Uh, I figured you'd still be working on setting uh, setting up that tent. That's some work ethic. Work ethic's my middle name. Nothing much else to do around here. I like making this place feel homey. Absolutely, I love making it feel homey. Ah, uh, just the right answer. I'm sure you're going to fit in here just fine. I bet you've been working up an appetite for all the ch uh, chopping and mining. Well, if you got patience, I've got solutions for your woes. Gardening. All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila, dinner or breakfast, even lunch if the mood strikes you. I know, I know it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing takes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. And I've got all the tools you need right here too. Go on, why don't you drop the plot down and give it a good till? Here we go! Oh, we're entering the farming world. And again, I don't really uh, listen to instructions, so we're <laughs> just going to click through that. Um, do I actually have any food on me? I don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm thinking we put my my crop plot here. So we he gave us this little area that we that we need to put down. So let's do it right there. Right center next to my crafting bench. That seems pretty good. And then we can exit out of tab mode. Go back to our wheel and grab our hoe out. And this is where we can start tilling and hoeing the land. But we'll start to get these kind of lines. It's so cool. This is such an intuitive kind of 
design of uh, hoeing the ground. I've never seen this before in a game and it is so nice. It's just really fun and interactive. Instead of just clicking one button and having it done, you can really feel like you're contributing to your own world. I like it. I don't know how many, how much stuff he's given me. So maybe I hold this whole thing. I don't know. I guess we just, we'll just do the whole thing. I mean, why not? Gives us some good practice. Get me, it's my hoe and practice in. Oh my gosh. Yep. Mm -hmm. I said that. Mm -hmm. I did. There we go. We're almost done. We just got two more. Beautiful. Let's get that. It is a little bit tricky. It's kind of hard to learn at first, but I feel like once you kind of get it, there we go. And then we'll plop, plop like so. Um, beautiful. Wait, did he give me two? Oh, I didn't even think about this. Well, this is a good time to show you guys that we can move stuff and it will keep its progress. Yeah, he definitely gave us two. These will uh, click together too, which is really nice. So let's move that one a little bit over. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Beautiful. So where do I get my seeds let's at? Do our best. You might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant and water themselves. Ah. You've got to, uh, you're going to need to, what? <laughs> you're going to need some of these bad boys. Consider them as a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. Uh, it might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it's worth the wait. I like, I love farming. Let's go. Abadru, I am so ready for this. Uh, some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Very nice. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Zeki's. Mm, sounds good. It's, it's interesting to me that we don't buy seeds from him. I don't know why. I just feel like it would... I feel like it would be better to buy them from him, but I I don't know. It's 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh well I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. Ah, uh, that would have been funnier if I'd given you wheat seeds. Hmm, I gotta work on my material. <laughs> Says trails. the comedian. Alright, happy trails, Badru. It's good to see you as always. Alright, so we've got four We've got four seeds here. So one, two, three, four. So that's gonna leave us. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's gonna leave us with one extra. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I wish, I wish they gave us. I guess that makes sense. I mean, they want to even it out. Okay, I get it. <laughs> um, so how should I go about this? Maybe, maybe we till the rest of this, and then, yeah, let's do four here. Because I, I, I'm kind of a little bit. Uh, specific about how I want to do these types of things and I really like when they're in a specific order So I'm gonna go to one and I'm gonna plant these in a row So carrots being first we will oh 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 <laughs> you gotta Make sure I throw the seeds on the plot and not just randomly around my grass <laughs> would probably be good I know I'm gonna forget that all the time where I just like I walk away uh, But yeah, hopefully I can remember anyways. So, so we got carrots there and then onions here Beautiful. Look at us farming. We're getting going. I'm living my farmer dreams. We're going to take great care of my plants. We're going to water them. I think that looks pretty good. Awesome. So I got a watering can as well. Oh, watering can. Refill the water. Oh, yep. And water the crops. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's uh, fill this up. Awesome. This is why I wanted to put my crop plot on this side because there's like a little hole here. I don't know if that's intentional, but I like it. So to water the crops, we fill that up and then we just hover over. Again, another mechanic I've never seen in a game that just, you know, it takes time to fill it up and then you kind of move. I, I really like it. I like the way they did this. There we go. Last one. So it looks like we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then four. So I do want to go buy some seeds from Zeki. I want to get this fully, fully planted out and everything like that. Uh, so what did we have? We had carrots and onions. We can also examine these, which is cool. So it's going to tell us that we get some weed prevention by putting these next to each other. Different crops can go next to each other and they'll either hydrate the soil or have weed prevention and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Um, definitely a different way of doing things than any other games I've seen before. And uh, I think it's quite nice. Now, again, another thing that I want to do here 
is make a campfire. We just need a little bit more wood, which should be pretty easy for us to do. We're going to have to clear this plot of land eventually. So, I mean, hey, let's just start chopping some trees down. Here we go. Collecting my wood. Beautiful sapwood. It's interesting that it's like sapwood and not an oak wood. Did I not get a... Oh, I must have got fiber from that and not actually wood. How did I never realize that before? I guess... Huh. There we go. There's our five wood that we needed. All right, we can officially craft this campfire. Beautiful. Look at me go. Boom, boom, boom. I love how the... The, um... <laughs> the little what is it called the lamp like wiggles whenever you craft something i think that's a very cute detail but going into tab here where should we put our campfire hmm maybe off over here would be good kind of away from everything else we could put a little bench or stools around it or something to make it like an official campsite uh awesome beautiful so we can grill some things there is our mushrooms okay so here's an example of real life time. This is going to take 10 seconds real life time to cook and uh, we just wait for it. Okay, there it is. Grilled mushrooms. Now we do have to forge for mus mushrooms. It says we need to uh, do three of those. Then we need to harvest a carrot and onion. We need to talk to Tish. Okay, let's go see because there were some mushrooms around our plot. I'm interested to see if we can find some more. If not, we can get them throughout town. But yeah, there's definitely mushroom there and we got foraging level two holy cow okay we're cruising guys we're doing so good is there any mushrooms up here that i can possibly find no okay nothing there anything over in this direction look at these big tall trees they're like big redwoods beautiful ah oh, the scenery of this game so relaxing peaceful even the sounds one thing i gotta say too is the sounds in this game the music and the you know the glowing mushrooms and everything the water it just all sounds really good so there we go okay we've got all of the mushrooms we found a ton of them so now we can go and cook them even though i just did that we will need the focus points um because i currently don't have any focus points so we're not getting that extra boost to experience that would be nice to have there's also a couple things I need to go put away in my storage. So let's do that quickly. There is my mushrooms. Put that away. Let's put the chest away. Let's move that there. Stink bombs. I got milk. I got a pitcher of milk. From the Daya Farms. Interesting. And then here's my little common butterfly, which I am going to put down. But I need like a little table or something because I don't want it just sitting. Sitting in the middle of my room. That would look a little weird. So eat the grilled mushroom to gain focus. Okay. There we go. So if you click on the one button on your number pad and then the right mouse button, you will eat the mushroom. That's cool. Uh, use 50 focus. Okay. We need to use 50 focus. I'm going to need wood uh, soon here, probably for some other things that we're going to craft. Uh, either that or we could go and do... I'm trying to think of what we could do. I guess, you know what? We're going to need some more wooden stone. So I'm going to take some time to uh, do a little bit of chopping. Now, one thing I will say is I don't think that these trees come back. These ones around your farm. At least when I was playing the little bit that I did play, I didn't notice they were regrowing. I think the trees in town do regrow. So if you go chopping trees around town, they'll come back. But I don't think these ones do because technically this is... The plot area for your your land when you make it bigger um but yeah i, I don't think that they come back <laughs> sadly all right there we go maybe we can also do a little bit of mining here so i really like to get to level two of mining that would be incredible if we could do that so i'm just gonna do a bit of mining until maybe hopefully we reach level two it's gonna take a lot of a lot of clearing but uh i think we can do it all right, I think we are about to uh, hit level two here soon. Just got a few more rocks, maybe, or one or two more. Oh, there we go. It only took one more. We got some renowns for that and uh, mining nodes. Clink, you've mined 20 nodes. Look at me go. Oh, that's that feels good. That feels so good. Okay, so I need to use 30 of 50. I still haven't done that yet. Interesting. It also looks like 6 p.m. The, the bells chime, so we have some mail here. 
Oh, wow. Okay, we have a lot of mail to go through. So, Ashura, let's see. Dear Nash, looks like you've been improving your forging skill. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that you can put your supplies in. That can put... Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Ashura, we need to go see. What about Zeki? Tired of going out hunting and bug catching and having to drag your haul back to your house every quarter of the sun cycle? Well, look no further for your solution than Zeki's expanded backpacks. Zeki's expanded backpacks greatly increase your storage space and cut those trips up trips in home trips. Ooh, those trips home in half. Stop by Zeki's general store today. Sometimes I try to read too fast for my own good and I like stumble over my words. Oh man. <laughs> it's taking me back to elementary school, guys. <laughs> Literally. Anyways, uh, Gina. Gina sent us two letters and so did Ani. So, dear Nash, so I just met you and this is crazy. <laughs> okay, um, but you're the only person I could think of to message. Something strange is happening with the Phoenix Shrine. Nothing world ending, don't worry, but I could use your help if you've got the time. Oh, I would love to help. Okay, that sounds good. Um, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of digging uh, on the flow battery you find. Humans use... Used to use this power, use this to power all sorts of things. You know, there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been trying to open. It's just a little way past the shrine we first met at. I've tried all sorts of things to get it to open. Maybe the battery could be the key. Why don't you give it a try? This place used to belong to your people after all. You really should be the first one to check it out. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, I need to grab that. There we go. Ancient thing. <laughs> and Ani... So I was thinking if you're going to become a master bug hunter like yours truly, you're gonna need a way to, uh, you're gonna need a way to take some snacks on the go. I thought you might like this picnic blanket and basket. I made it by myself with my mom's help. Oh, that's so cute. I made it by myself, but my mom did like everything, <laughs> did most of the work. Cute. That's awesome. I love getting free, uh, free stuff. I've heard, heard you've been trying bug catching out. That's awesome. Why don't you stop by? I've got something really cool for you. It's a sneaky smoke bomb recipe. Beautiful. All right. So uh, this would be kind of cute to put our little picnic, the picnic thing by our, by our campsite. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's adorable. We have a picnic basket. I love it. Nice makeshift picnic basket. <laughs> I don't think we could do anything with it. That is one request uh, I would say for the developers if they watch this. I, again, don't know. D I doubt they will. I don't know. Maybe they will. That'd be super cool. Um, but just more more uh, accessibility for the objects. I'm sure they're going to do that in the future. So I don't want to, um, you know, keep uh, or complain about anything. I'm trying not to complain or... Or anything and that's not a complaint but i do hope that more of the objects especially once you get into your house and stuff uh such as cabinets and dressers and ottomans and stuff can like hold items or at least just open and close like you can just have a little animation or something i know that's a lot of work but it would really add a lot to the atmosphere of the game so i think that'd be incredible hadari uh dear nash Heard you've been using that pack, that pick I gave you. <laughs> I almost said pack, that pack I gave you. No, the pick I gave you. If you want to learn more about the uh, about the real life of a miner, come and see me. I can teach you how to make a smelter or copper bars or even ceramic. It won't be easy, but it will be rewarding. Okay, so Hodari, awesome. So we can mark that as red. We have so many people that we need to go talk to. We need to talk to Tish. We need to go talk to um gina about the shrine and now hadari let's see how are my crops doing it looks like they need to be watered i did take a little bit of time away and now they they need to be watered i also need to get more crops so that i can plant here so there's there's a lot on my docket to do uh this evening which i'm of course excited about but let's get all this watered we need to section off my plants too i need to get four of something and then six of another something so that'll be interesting can i cook anything i can grill up some mushrooms let's uh get those going and then i'm sort of thinking we go talk to tish and we go find hadari and then uh, let me put some stuff away actually 
from my inventory here because we have so much junk that we don't really need. I'm going to put my butterfly in here. We'll place that down. We know that that was my first butterfly. So there, there we go. Let me take this just in case we need the focus, which we probably will need. I have two of those now. So that makes me feel pretty good. But let's head on out. There is a, a lot to be done. I really think we should go talk to Gina first because we have two quests related to Gina. So I'm going to I'm going to get that out of the way. Here we go. We are off to fi figure out what this ancient battery is all about as well as the phoenix shrine if we run into tish in the meantime we can go talk to her actually look i mean over there boom 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 they're all super far away though okay well let's just uh actually maybe we should go talk to adari and tish first and maybe we should wait till daytime to go see if we can talk to Gina. That's That seems like almost a, a better option for me. Oop, getting a little stuttering. That's okay, that's to be expected. Maybe if I kind of walk, <laughs> it will uh, chill things out a bit. So yeah, Gina's in here. I mean, she is right here. Might as well just talk to her. See what's going on. Gina, oh, there you are. Good, I was starting to think I dreamed the whole thing. So yesterday, Hecla and I were examining the ruins more. Trying to find out what's going on. Why are humans... Why why the humans are suddenly back? And I found a piece of statue that looked like it fell off the phoenix. So, well, I returned it. Which is when it started glowing. Just like when you dropped out of the sky. It stands, the re uh, stands to reason these two events are connected. I'd like to test my hypothesis. But, uh, means I need you to go try and check out the shrine. But, uh, only if it's convenient. Yeah, definitely. I can I can do that. I'm down for the adventure. It's hard to say if myths of the creatures in the Elder Woods have any valid validity validity. I cannot say that word. Oh my goodness. Uh do I believe that things exist out there that we don't understand? Yes, I do. Do I also believe that people tend to exaggerate the dangers of what they do what they don't understand? Yes, I do. Okay. That's interesting. So try the battery on the door behind the waterfall and then investigate the shrine where you found it, where you were found. Okay. All right, Gina. Looks like she's heading out. She's going on a mission today. She's got somewhere to be. She's got people to meet, <laughs> people to talk to. So, I mean, hey, I guess that's good. Uh, have we even met uh, Eloisa? Eloisa, I haven't met you yet. There's still people in this world I have not met. Hello, human. How are you liking the village? Is it better than your underground lair? My underground lair? What are you talking about? What do you... I, I like your headband. I also really like this necklace. But seriously, what are you talking about? Everything up here is awesome. Uh, what underground lair? What's that blue stuff above our heads? And hi, who are you? Uh, let's do everything is awesome up here. Good, good. I'm glad you're still able to experience joy after everything you've gone through. Personally, I would not be so chipper if I spent 10,000 years in a boiling underground lake. How does she know this? I'm a little confused as, as to where she got this story from. I also knew the humans were not really extinct, as those so-called scientists at the academy like to claim. Extinct? You humans were far too advanced to let something as small as an asteroid knock you out. So that's the story. We are uh, apparently knocked out by asteroids. Okay, <laughs> the big bang. Uh, my theory is that you have been living underground all these years, uh, sealing away in some ancient vault for protection. I mean, honestly, we don't know where we came from, so it very well could be true. It was only a matter of time before you emerged bright and beautiful as a Bahari afternoon. Where did you learn all that? Exactly, where did you learn all of this? I don't remember much, so maybe, or that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Seems off, let's find the truth together. Don't remember, maybe where did you learn all this? I'm I'm curious. Tools, trinkets, carvings, sort of things most people d dismiss as magic without a second thought. Keep a medical, physical mind out there, okay? So many people call me crazy simply because I do not fit their mold. Okay, Eloisa, I get you. My house is so full of all the who's it's and what's it's I have been collecting over the years. I could really use a place to put them all. Uh, the whole community should be able to learn about this stuff. Keep your eyes open. I mean, if there was like a museum of some kind, that would be cool. 
I actually don't know if there is a museum in this game. I think it would be awesome if there was, but I, I don't know if that's even a thing. I, I never got to that point where a museum was unlocked. So, oh, it's a clap off. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, this is the this is the fun thing about MMOs. You just you just stumble into insanely random situations. So yeah, well I gotta go, guys. But uh, have fun clapping clapping each other over there, <laughs> clapping at each other over there. That's probably how I should uh, award that. Could be uh yeah could be something else. Okay, anyways, uh moving on. <laughs> okay, so we're really close to. I actually can't that that image is so small i can't see who that is on my map here but it looks like they're in the end oh it's um ashura i believe yes ashura i do need to talk to you about some what things I here uh i knew starting out in a new place i know starting out in a new place can be tough but you've been doing a great job thank you so much ah that's greatly appreciated I thought I'd help you out. I've got a couple of recipes for purchase that make your, might make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks. Okay. There it is, the recipe for the sawmill, and we've unlocked it. So again, at level two, you unlock the shops as well as a lot of basic recipes, like crafting recipes. And then as you level up, so see this one says requires level four foraging. This one's level four, this one's level five, this one's level six. So the more that you level up, the more you unlock, which I think is fantastic. Um, it doesn't just throw it all at you at once. It makes you wanna, you know, grind a little bit for it and, and save up for it, which I think is cool. Any who's it's and what's it's, let's unlock the recipe. Let's purchase that. We have 171 left. So that's nice. We got the planks as well. I would love this ax, but we're not at level three yet. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, don't cut any fingers on. Don't cut any fingers off on it. Okay. Sounds good. I'll try my best. Not going to. I don't have too much experience with the, uh, the bigger tools though. So we'll see. Some say the old well is haunted. What old well? Oh gosh, I should probably keep reading what they're saying. Others say there's monsters roaming the forest. Ooh, Nio used to scare Ani good with that old tale. Hmm, a little trickster, I see. Very interesting. So it also looks like uh Wrath is not here. Yes, Wrath is not here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, <gasps> you know what I haven't checked out in 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 a while? <laughs> The furniture store! We need to go. I'm so excited. I think everyone that I need to talk to is sleeping. Like, Tish is sleeping, and... And who's that? That's Tish. Okay, and then there's a couple other quests over there. So, we'll go do that next. But I want to check the furniture store. Because the selection changes every day. And I just want to give you guys a little taste of, like, some of the stuff you can actually get. Like, this banner is adorable. It is a thousand, though. Which is quite pricey. But, hey, it's beautiful. So, I mean... Might be worth it look at this chic oh that's cute oh my god this you guys this is the bellflower set which i mentioned was my favorite oh there we go <laughs> there's a big wheel oh that's actually kind of cool i like it homestead jars and jugs oh this plant's cute little ficus my gosh we're we're so far from doing all this because we have to spend money on other things but such as crafting recipes Oh, this bellflower bookshelf you guys it is glorious i mean it is just beautiful i love this chair too all these uh i i think it's gonna be great to be able to mix and match a lot of the different sets as well i think a lot of them go really well with each other so that's gonna be something fun for us to do too when we get a house built there's so much to uncover and so much to accomplish and do throughout this series it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> uh so i can't wait but i do want to head over let's see this one's a little bit closer so let's go see what's uh going on over here at the temple i don't know what this i don't remember what this is all about so it's gonna have to give it a try so we can go up that way or we can go these are so close to each other i guess we just go up this way we'll take us where we need to looks like someone was already there they're doing the same mission maybe or possibly uh, something different. Who knows? Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, I'm remembering this is the waterfall that we came in on. I didn't know you could come in from this direction. That's actually really cool. 
I wonder if I could parkour over there. There's usually hidden chests all around like we've seen before, but yeah, there's so there's going to be two things up here I, I think that we need to find. So it's perfect. We don't have to go too far to complete our missions. I like that. I like the convenience of having to not run around all crazy. So the first one, yeah, the first one being over there. Second one being over there. Let's go over here first because it's a little bit closer. So here it is. I think this is where we use our magical key to fix this broken door. All right. In we go. There we go. We got some renown, so now we can enter the ruins. Again, not sure what this does. I'm actually really excited to figure this out. Whoa. Oh, this is such a beautiful room. Beautiful ruin, I should say. Holy moly. I mean, look at the architecture here. The flowers and the plants. This gives so much inspiration, especially for other games. Like, I know that might sound weird, but... You could totally build some of this stuff in like Minecraft or or some other kinds of things. You could decorate your room after this in like Animal Crossing or something. Oh, that could be really good. Okay, so uh Ooh, I can inspect the bowl. So a bowl with rust on the bottom. The inscription has been worn away by time. Inscription has been worn away by time. Okay, cool. Uh this looks like a huge door. I can read this. The strange writing says, knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must supply that which grows life. That which grows life. Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must supply that which grows life. Okay, so that's a riddle we need to solve. Sounds good. All the riddle. That which grow that which grows life. So plants are life. That which grows life. It's weird that my first thought is like, uh, a lady? Like I need to put myself in here? <laughs> like I can grow life. I would assume this is the offering, right? We need to put it in here. I definitely can't put myself in there. That which grows life. What would grow life? The only other thing I think of that's like living is plants. And I mean, I guess what grows life is, I mean, we could put a plant in here, but I don't think that's what it wants you to do. I think it wants you to... I'm gonna have to think about this one. Maybe we go, let's go to the other one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a think about this. That which grows life. So it's either, it's either has something to do with people, like food, like, you know, when you eat, you grow. Or plants, like plants are life and they grow. And plant food is like fertilizer or water. Like you water plants. Maybe we put water in the bowl. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's where we, we first came in. So this is where we need to investigate the Phoenix Shrine. That just sounds cool. Like, am I the only one? That just sounds cool. And it also just looks cool. I mean, again, inspiration. Pure inspiration for how cool this looks. I wonder if we can like climb up things. That is just insane anyway wow the phoenix shrine all right so i'm assuming this is the same probably a riddle oh no offering to the phoenix shrine focus bonus increased by 25 percent Ooh, quest completed okay that one was easy oh commune 100 points okay wow okay that one was easy we didn't have to solve any crazy riddles or anything for that one so that's that's making me feel a bit better uh, okay, is there anything like hidden or secret that I can find? You know, I want to explore and, and do things. I don't actually know if I can jump up here. There might not be anything here. If there is, let me know down in the comment section below. It does look like there's like a little section over there. Wee! Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. So, I think what I'm going to try to do is put water in the bowl. Because it didn't seem like we could put, like, an item in it. It didn't, like, have a deposit, like, to, to deposit an item. So the only other thing I can think about is water growing crops. And maybe we put water in the bowl. I'm going to try it. So let's go back. Yeah, if we, if we do this, we got our watering can. Literally just says inspect. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, it's actually working. Wait, it's actually working. Oh, yes. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. 
Oh, and we uncovered a new phoenix. Yes. Oh, and there's, there's Gina. She's ready for us. Look at how cool this looks. Oh, it looks so mystical and magical. Very cool. All right, Gina, what's going on here? You actually did it. I heard the rumble and came running. This place is amazing. It would have been some kind of temple. Can you actually read the carvings on the walls? This is ancient human writing. Actually, no, that makes perfect sense. You're a human. Of course you can read your own language. You scout ahead. Hecla and I will survey this room and see what we can learn. Okay. So it looks like I just have to go in through here and just see what's going on. Hello, big phoenix shrine temple thing. I'm here to investigate you. Uh, not to be spooky or anything, but uh, anything going on here? Holy moly, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we? Are we like under a giant mountain cliff or something? This is all covered in rocks. Goodness gracious. How do I get across there? I need like a magical bridge or something. Suspension bridge to come help me out. This is so crazy. Look how beautiful. Oh, I am stoked on this. Oh, that's going to be fun to explore if we ever, ever manage to get over there. But let's check out what this, uh, this, uh, dude is or, or thing or statue. <laughs> this chamber was added for your protection. Do not give up your fate. The king shall free us when it is safe and our people will roam the land again. Huh. Okay. I wonder if that has anything to do with our humanness. Uh, if we have any, uh, anything to do with that. I don't know, but that sounds interesting. Uh, Gina, I found something. I found a statue. <laughs> I hope I didn't freak you out too much when I clammed up. Oh, I've just never witnessed an actual human uh, re-emergence before, so this whole thing is just a lot. I understand. You know what I mean? It's a lot for me, too, or why do you clam up? I would say it's a lot for me, too. I mean, we have so many quests and people to meet and things to do. Ah, uh, you're right. Uh, I guess appearing out of nowhere would be a lot scarier than just watching someone appear out of nowhere. So you're an archaeologist, Gina? I wish. Right now I'm just an apprentice. I'm doing my thesis on human reemergence with the hopes of becoming a full scholar. So if you see any interesting artifacts that need examining, go ahead and send them my way. They might be the key to me becoming a full scholar. Or, you know, the key to you discovering the mystery of what happened to your people, okay? That second part is obviously a lot more important. Forget I said the first, uh, forget I said the first thing first. That's okay, so I found something up ahead. What is that, a huge cliff or some big ruins? It looks like a huge cliff to me, but it also looks like ruins. Let's do ruins. A ruin, intriguing, perhaps this was a temple. I wouldn't try to navigate that area without a glider. Oh, we need a glider. Oh, yeah, so we can glide right across. Oh, that's cool. What is with my bridge idea? Come on, we need to get a glider here. You'll need to speak to Najuma about building you one. Okay. She usually hangs around Bahari Bay. Interesting. Bahari Bay. So a new section of land that we need to go find. Hekla, how are you doing today? I always like to talk when I can. Hello, human. I had the inkling you would... Come see me. I need like a robot voice. <laughs> Someday, Gina finds what she suspected was an ancient communication device. But I know to be a game mode for small humans. Game made for small humans. I have concealed the true nature of the device from her. So that I do not diminish her joy for finding it. Okay. I feel like she would enjoy it though. Why not give it to her? I do not perceive any real differences in joy based on falsehood or joy based on truth. Joy is joy, is it not? I guess so. Uh, I guess so. Okay. So uh, yeah, we it looks like we need to get a glider. So we need to go talk to Najuma in Bahari Bay. Check it out. We have so many places to go. So many things to explore. I love it. There's even a couple things that I do want to do that we haven't done yet. We haven't fished yet. Which I think would be fun to accomplish and then also we have not done any hunting and that would be another thing that I think could uh, really come in handy for us to get started with so let's uh, let's take a little detour we've been doing quests we've been doing great with that um, we should probably go talk to Tish as well 
uh, because she's the furniture lady and I know there's a furniture crafting skill that we need to accomplish so she might be wanting to talk about uh talk to us about some like new crafting furniture stuff so i would like to go do that so let's go find tish let's do a little hunting let's um go fishing as well and i need to show you guys Idar. i've said it so many times in this episode but he is my favorite being in this realm and i need to absolutely go find him he hangs out by the dock i think he lives there not quite sure not quite sure but we'll see all right, so it looks like Tish is right ahead, so that's going to be good. Sorry about the stuttering, guys. We are in open beta. We're still beta playing, so, um, you know, there's going to be a few little hiccups here and there. But so far, it's running, running really smoothly for me, and it's doing good. The wait times aren't too long. I know some people have been getting a little um, stuck on the wait times and stuff, but for me, it's been really great. It's been so smooth and so nice, so I'm sorry if you were one of the people who was getting caught up by the wait times yet? i hope hope it resolves but for me it's been great anyways um i hope uh, i have a good feeling about today can we send me yes i'm so glad you're going to live here i was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when i realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture so here's some simple recipes for you to start with if you're tired from all your hard work why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at my friend Jell insisted you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. Beautiful. Oh, Tish is so cute. Love her little braids and her flower. Uh, I love a wistful willows that grow here. I do too. Uh, not only are they beautiful, but their bark is soft and pliable. It's super easy to make beautiful furniture if you're working with willow bark. Toodles. Nice. Okay, toodles, Tish. Okay, we got the furniture recipes. <laughs> you guys know I'm all about that furniture life. I want to be a craftswoman. So let's see. We can place chairs, place tables, place a wardrobe. But like I said, I think I want to take a little detour to do a little fishing and a little bit of hunting. So first things first, I'm going to go do hunting. We have 20 arrows. So I think going off by the farm is probably one of the better places to go hunting. There's lots of meadows out here. And this is where the little creatures and critters kind of like to hang out. It's good for bug catching and things like that too. So yeah, this is, this is the area. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple critters now. If you guys don't like combat, then you might want to step ahead or, or uh, look away. <laughs> I do apologize, especially since these are such cute animals too. They've got little deers and little like foxes and they're really cute, but you do need their resources. So anyways, uh, yeah, creatures will flee if you miss. Okay, here we go. So yeah, then you have your different arrows and stuff like that. And then you can harvest loot. Now, another cool thing about this game too is that if you and another mmo player in the game or another online player hit the same animal you both will get the resources from it so it's not like one person is taking all the resources you both get it which is so cool another thing to keep in mind too is these little fox guys i think they're called choppas i'm not sure they're one hit they're usually about one hit so yeah choppa fur they're usually one hit which is kind of nice, so you just aim and, and shoot. I usually aim for where the crosshairs are. Uh, really quickly too, just to divert, is there's a, a little copper node here that I would like to break. It's a little bit hidden in this rock. <laughs> I'm surprised I even saw it, but there we go. We can grab up that copper. That's gonna be our first copper resource. It looks like we got a big shiny pebble too. That's interesting. Anyways, uh, yeah, here's another choppa that we can hunt. There's actually a lot of them here. Oh, and they do dig in the ground. That's so cute. We actually witnessed that. So let's go there. Oh, oh, it ran. No, I missed it. Dang it. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Yeah, they usually are one hit, the choppas. They're smaller, a little bit easier to, to get, and you'll get some fur and some meat. So that's pretty good. Now the deer, on the other hand, are a bigger animal, and I believe they take about two hits. So let's see if I can get one here. And these will run. So you gotta be a good shot. There we go. Hey, I'm a good, uh, I'm a good 
uh, Mark's woman. Marksman? Is that is that shooting? Gosh, I should not say things without. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good with a bow if I do say so myself. I I really enjoy uh, ranged combat, especially in Minecraft too. More of a ranged player for sure. So this is my bread and butter. I like this kind of gameplay and this hunting. I know a few people were mentioning how they really wanted some PvP action uh, in this game, but honestly, I I don't think. Oh, I don't think it. Uh, I don't think. I think the game is great. I think the game is uh, really good how it is, so... Oh, I think I missed that one. Because I was looking at the... Oh, oh, no! Oh, did it despawn right in front of me? That sucks. <laughs> These things happen. Oh, it looks like we have some glowing things that we can pick up. I also need to eat here really quickly because I don't have any... Any, um... Focus. And we need to focus. Especially if we're going to be hunting and skilling up and getting more levels and things like that. And I believe this goes towards forging. That's good. Oh no, if you get close to those deer, they run like crazy. Oh, there's a chopper as well. Let me, let me grab that out. Oh, it ran, no. Okay, and then if you, so if you pull your bow back and then you left click, it will retrieve your bow so you don't have to waste ammo. So, um. Or did I say that backwards? Left click is to aim, right click is to lower your bow. So right click to, or left, left click to aim, right click to lower the bow. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this deer here. I forget what these are called. Dang, sometimes they run so crazy. What about, um, dang it. I'm not a good, uh, at range, I guess. I'm not good at shooting far away. I'm pretty good at close up there we go all right so we should be getting hide and stuff from this there's one that buried itself and we do want to collect all the resources around the area is this actually oh no that's a deer i don't know why i thought that was a lump of clay <laughs> that's so random that was so weird oh that was too far they run so fast i think you can also of course get better arrows and a better bow eventually so that you can shoot farther and so that it takes less shots for you to actually kill one sometimes you do lose them and they just they just go prance it off into the distance look at this gosh it's so beautiful oh i love it so much oh it might be right there is this gonna be a one-shotter how 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 oh my goodness <laughs> My aim is terrible. I think I'm melting under the pressure of recording a video. Did you come down here? Oh, there's a bug. There's a bug. Oh, you did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible about doing this, but we need... I'm out of arrows. Oh, you live today. You live another day. <laughs> we got plenty of meat, though, so I think it's time to head back. Head back home, see what we can do. Uh, is there actually any quests? So yeah, we need to place chair, table, wardrobe. So spiffy it up and then go to Bahari Bay. There are a couple things. I want to check my quests really quickly and see if there's actually anything else we need, like quest-wise. So the backpack expansion, of course. Okay, these are my pinned ones and then just the gardening one. Okay, and that's going to take time. So sounds good. Let's, uh, let's head back to our house. I think I'm just going to cut this part out and zip on over there and I'll meet you guys there. We are back home. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so looks like my crops need watered again. Every time that you spend, you know, as you spend time away, your crops are going to need to be watered. But this will be good because hopefully we can harvest these soon. They look like they're growing pretty nice. No weeds or anything. I still haven't bought seeds. I need to go do that. You just get so distracted doing other things that it, it kind of, uh, it gets away from you a little bit. Oh, out of water. All right, let's go over here, fill this back up, and then we need to start crafting our furniture. Gosh, I can't even express how excited I am to do this. This is the bread and butter I have been waiting for. I've been having dinner, and my my bread and butter is running out, and I'm, I'm ready for round two, so let's do this. Grow the mushrooms. Okay, so I thought we could maybe cook our meat and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like we can yet. So let's put some stuff away. I've gotten this emerald carpet moss. I got um, some antlers, lots of meat, some uh, choppa fur, and then all these kinds of stuff here. Gotta put that away. Nice. 
Alright, so far so good. Keeping my inventory organized and sorted. What I like to see. So if we go over here, we should get to be able to craft some stuff. Yeah, so we can make the chair. That's going to be pretty easy. Aha! Ooh, and it looks like we've unlocked some new recipes. Although, I can't see what they are. So we have to go off of silhouette. This is interesting. Look at my face. <laughs> I'm thinking so hard about this. I think this one, I don't know. It looks like a little stool, which I kind of like. Oh, it's a nightstand. Nice. If we get a bed, that would be uh, really nice to craft. So let's see. We needed to make a table and a wardrobe, I believe. Lots of wood needs to be collected. So it looks like we are going to have to go on a bit of a chopping spree around my farm. <laughs> now, I, I don't know how I feel about chopping all these trees down because if they're not going to come back, then that could be an issue. We're just going to have to leave the house. And, uh, oh, can't chop that one. Need an upgraded axe. All right. Yeah, we're going to need to leave the house to get these, like, to get more trees later on in the game. So that'll be quite interesting. There we go. All right, Tish is going to be so pleased with my quality of chair, table, and wardrobe that, I mean, she's just going to be like, dang, will you build me some stuff? I mean, I'm the furniture builder, but I would like you to build me some stuff because this is quality top notch. <laughs> At least that's what I'm, I'm kind of hoping, she says. There we go, getting a little bit of fiber with this as well. I think that's going to do our foraging. I think all of this is foraging, technically. But we're gonna need quite a bit of wood. So I'm just not wasting any time here collecting what I can. I think the wardrobe's probably gonna be the most expensive on our list. So uh, we're gonna do that one last. Let's see how much this table costs. I really was not paying attention. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. So the wardrobe is 45. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. And this one's 35. Okay, let's just make the table. We'll be good there. I think we're gonna have to chop down a couple more trees. Ah, we get another one. Oh, I see a bed. That is a bed, either a bed or a chair. Oh, we're going bed for sure. Oh, it's a couch. It's a cabin couch. Okay, so <laughs> it wasn't a bed, although you can sleep on a couch. So maybe, <laughs> maybe that's fine. All right, so we have 20, about 20 more wood to get. Sounds pretty good. I like uh, kind of chugging away at these things. And I just love this resource collection and spending my time it, it does get a little bit grindy i think that's sort of a familiar thing when it comes to mmos if you like grindy games then i think you'll be quite interested in mmos in general this is my first mmo ever hey tree chopper one you've chopped down and rooted 30 trees dang i'm going to work here okay this is this is awesome get this one down is that gonna be our our 20 or 30 or how much we need? I think we need like 40 pieces of wood. Which I feel so far. I feel like we're not getting that much wood. Oh, probably because we need to eat. Yeah, let's uh let's do that really quickly. Beautiful. And this is also again just gonna get us more points. There we go, nine sap wood. Man, I'd be interested to see like if your harvest rate is lower. If you don't have as much focus. I was not paying attention to that. I might have to check that in editing actually when i edit this video because we got eight eight wood there okay i think we're good to make the wardrobe we get to finally decorate our tent guys what a monumental moment in this in the series episode one and we're we're doing so much here we go okay oh cute one of those what is that and the little fence oh gosh i don't even know i really want to know what this is because i can tell this is a fence and this is a like a little deer well, what is this? I'm, I'm curious. I want to see. Oh, a cabin clock. Oh, an avocado. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A clock. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to be mean. Um, all right. Let's, let's get to putting my stuff down. Let's make this tent feel like home since I feel like we're not really close to getting a house here, but... I think the wardrobe could go there. That'd be quite nice. And then we have our, oh, not jump, but table. Put our table maybe off here in the corner. I think that looks good. And then put a chair right next to it. Kind of, I really like that you can switch and change and make these whatever way you want. That is such a good feature. Thank you so much to the devs for doing that. Because not a lot of games allow you to 
uh, rotate furniture and it really adds a lot. It makes it so your 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 area has more character. Like like this chair looks like it was moved and it was sat in. Then if I would just put it straight and just I mean if you want the the straightforward look, the clean look, that's fine. But like this looks like we're lived in and I love it. It's beautiful. Now the next thing I want to do to uh, make our house feel like a home is I want to put down my butterfly. <laughs> All right, going back into tab mode, let's put this down on the table. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, and we can actually lock it onto the table. Wow, my first starred butterfly. Oh, you're home, buddy, and so am I. I know it's a tent. It's not much, but uh, hopefully eventually we'll have a house to live in together. What should we name our butterfly? <laughs> it is so cute. All right. So now we got to talk to Kenley, who is uh, here <laughs> at my front door. Hello, Kenley. My goodness. Wonderful news. I found the forms under my bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumpled, too. Only just a little bit. <laughs> I won't mind the crumples. It's fine. Uh, if you can just sign here here and here i'll be able to get you that blueprint i feel like i'm switching into voices now here we go yes and here too oh and here i gotta sign a bunch of places come on uh there you have it and e i and i even remember to bring the blueprints with me nash uh these are yours these are now yours i suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building wait a second i literally was just saying you guys how we're far away from getting a house and here we are about to plop down my house are you kidding me now if you'll excuse me i do believe it's time for my break Don't okay care, you saw me. all right see ya <laughs> he, he needs a break after walking all the way up that hill you know it is quite a hill i will say we did it wow guys okay so i mean if we are gonna place a entire house down i have a feeling that we're going to need to make room for it so let's uh, go tree chopping just a little bit more. I don't want to do too much of this, but uh, I do want to at least make some space. I feel like we're going to have to move our tent. This tent is so big. Um, we potentially could move our tent over here or maybe put our house over here. Yeah, actually, I think that's going to be the move. Okay, hold on. So we are going to we're going to break this. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be incredible ah we got this big beautiful tree here too that's gonna be great i really i don't know how big this house is so i don't know what to expect but it looks like if we go into h mode holy moly this unlocks a whole new world <laughs> whoa and we can zoom in too this shows us all of our plots and as you can see this is our entire area this is how big our housing plot is going to get it's gonna get massive um once we unlock all of these tiles here but we just gotta work with this area so i am going to pick up some things and move look there's my character <laughs> i wish i could pick her up and move her that would be really cute uh there's also this little fence piece so we can get to the water so i'm thinking we keep our soil and things can i actually rotate these uh, yes, I can with Q and E. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that doesn't separate them too much. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, that, that makes sense. Sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm moving this all over the place. Okay, so that's, that's right next to that opening. So that's gonna be good. Um, and then maybe I'd like to move our Ted back a little more. It actually fits per- This is a way better view. Why was I not using this before? And then we could put our campfire potentially here and then our little our little campsite thing here would be good or a little picnic right next to the campfire that's cute okay got that i got our little area and then so this is our housing plot oh my goodness it's huge okay uh, yeah, so I want to put it right here, and it looks like we don't have enough space. So we definitely need to clear some stuff out. Alrighty, alrighty, sounds good. Let's get out of this mode, and then let's uh, go clearing all this stuff. It looks like every... maybe not everything, but maybe we should just go ahead and clear out everything. I was kind of leaving some decorative trees because I thought it looked nice, but 
maybe later on in the game we can actually grow trees of our own. I really hope that's something they add if they don't already have it in the game. I never got to that point uh, in the closed beta, so I don't quite know. I don't actually know if that's a thing yet, but it would be really nice. I think it'd be nice to have some decorative, at least even decorative plotted trees. So maybe you don't harvest them, but you can you can add them as decoration. Because trees add so much to your land if you strategically place them. I think it could look so nice. So there we go. All right, we need to get rid of... I think this is going to have to go too. That thing was huge, you guys. <laughs> the house is huge. But I think this is the moment I've been so excited for, honestly. Like, building my own house and making it perfect and... The way that I want it and decorating the inside to fit my style is just something that's going to be so much fun. So I cannot wait. There we go. Cracking rocks. Taking names. <laughs> Sounds good. I think we could just leave these uh, little ones back here. Like I said, I do want a few decorative, kind of decorative trees and rocks around so it doesn't look so bare on this land. Uh, but yeah, let's go back into H mode here and pop down our house. Holy cow. Okay, fronts like that and it shimmies right there. That is like a perfect spot. And we've got our little crop farm next to it. I love it. That's so nice. Now I do have these pirate treasure chest thingies. Oh my, I can actually like put these down. I can put stuff near the house base. Dang, that's really cool. I don't know if I actually need these though. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them, so I just have been putting them away. And I don't think you can sell them either, so it's just... It's definitely interesting. Building. Add resources to your building to complete construction. Okay, whoa, look at that. Okay. So what does that mean? We need to come over here and upgrade. Oh. Sapwood planks. So that's different than this, right? And stone bricks. Oh, wow. Mmm. Okay. So then we can contribute the materials, and then once that's finished, then our house will start building. Mm, okay, I think I've seen a little bit of this. I haven't seen too much of this, but yeah, this is this is going to be awesome. Oh, Tish is here. I love when we get visitors at our house. Oh, good. You're still here. Kenley mentioned you found the blueprints for your house, so I thought I'd stop by and give you some other helpful tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need some stone bricks and sapwood planks. Stone bricks and sapwood planks. So get comfortable with woodcutting and mining. Uh, you've met our innkeeper Ashura, right? He can teach you how to make a sawmill for those planks. Interesting. I'm so happy to hear you've decided to make Kilima your home. I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So um, I do know because I've been watching live streams of this game and things like that, that it does take quite a while uh, to actually build your house. I think it takes like eight in-game hours once you've deposited all the materials in. So if we could finish this up today and then have our house by tomorrow, I think that would be fantastic. That's kind of like my in-game goal for today. I don't know how long that's going to take, but... Uh, I, I'm just going to keep going until I feel tired of playing and, you know, that could be a long time. So, yeah. But anyways, um, that's that's going to be great. I can't believe we have a house plot already. That's just that blows my mind a little bit because we've done so much work. and I feel like we've been doing really good, but we need to go get that sawmill and get started on that. And I also really need to get some crops. So interesting. We got a lot to do. <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna head on out. Did I? Oh, you know what I should do really quickly? Let me see if I can actually craft some arrows and some smoke bombs. So I can craft arrows. That's good because I wasted so many of them that I didn't, I didn't mean to, to waste. And I didn't, I can't craft any smoke bombs. That's right, we need clay. Okay, we can go find that. That's pretty, pretty easy to find. Let's go find the NPCs that we need to find for our, 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 I almost called it a hopper. No, our stone smelter and our basic sawmill. So who are we, who are we even looking for? Hodari and, oh gosh, I'm trying to use my brain to think, but I can't remember. Was it Ashura? I think it might be Ashura who, who's going to probably be in the inn. We need to buy crops as well. 
uh that's the town hall and it's over here <laughs> i'm getting discompopulated in town i've been here a gajillion times <laughs> anyways uh sure are you here no you're not here zeth isn't even here but Zeke's here oh wait Hassian is here. Whoa, that's so cool that there. He's like with his mom. Just this once. Heck yeah, tell me stuff. Nash, I presume. How, I feel like we've talked. Don't act stunned that I know your name. Have I never talked to him before? I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. I guess I have never talked to him before. <laughs> what the heck? My name's Hassian, and I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we will have no quarrels. Uh, use nature poorly and you'll find I know how to get how to rid the village of all sorts of pests Okay, he's a little intimidating. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, I got your letter uh, My what your letter you sent me a letter. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of uh, Oh those pre-written letters from City Hall ha that City Hall had me sign uh, My mother is the town's black blacksmith a simple bow like that is easy supply it makes years to it takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming the bow at something like those chapas or cernux. Okay, gotcha. Cernuk? Uh, sure, cernuk. Uh maybe you will even manage to hit your target. Oh, I've been good, okay? I've been good. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna quarrel. Even even though he doesn't want to. Evening is beautiful. And it's also the primary time for predators. I would be careful if I were you. That's enough. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, so you're the you're the hunter guy. Ooh, and then Zeki, and then whoa, Shane's here too. Everybody's it's here. Been a beautiful day <laughs> it's so good far. to see you out and about, Phoenix child. I realize I made an error in our last conversation by assuming you were devout, and I wish to correct that mistake. <sighs> Tell me, are you spiritual? I promise I will respect any answer you give. Um, yes, I'm very spiritual. No, I only believe what I see or I'm still figuring things out. Um, I'm not particularly spiritual in real life, so I'm going to say no. Uh, that's all right. I accept the views of all, even those different from my own. Very respectful. Very nice. Uh, how else are we to grow if we never expose ourselves to those of with different views? If you ever find yourself in need of medical attention, you know where to find me. Okay. Tonight I'm keeping an eye on the bright shrooms. They make a tea that is very helpful for Feel meditation. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's here. I'm so confused I by everyone's just... I lost I, lo I lost my sandwich again. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, good. It's you. I was afraid you were... Esh? Eshe? Shay. I'm due at home any minute, but one more drink couldn't hurt, could it? Look at him. Look at him go. You're always welcome at City Hall. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I think I'm always welcome at the pub as well, which uh, is, is quite friendly, I will say. All right, I'm, I'm with it here. Okay, next thing we need to do, guys, is we need to go and buy seeds. <laughs> this is a must. So we currently have carrots, we currently have onions, we don't have potatoes, we don't have any cotton. Cotton would probably be pretty good and it's relatively cheap. Tomatoes are going to be a good money maker because they harvest multiple times. So we wanted four, right? And then six. So maybe we'll start with the four cotton seeds. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, and then that's not going to leave us any room for tomatoes, but that's okay. We'll come back and buy those when we have a little bit more money. Should probably do some fishing um, in order to get that done, but yeah. Is that Ashura? I, I feel like I need to talk to you, but maybe not. Welcome, grab a seat by the hearth if you you'd like. Need my attention. I can't talk to you. Build and place a basic sawmill. Wait, did I already buy that? <laughs> I'm getting so confused at like what I've already done and what I haven't done. Maybe I've unlocked the sawmill already. Or maybe he has to be here before he can open his shop. Not quite sure how these things work, but I gotta say this fireplace is so pretty. Warm myself by the fire. So you're not who I buy from. Oh, I can open the store. I have bought the basic sawmill. Of course I have. I'm so ahead of myself. 
<laughs> I knew we leveled up that skill, but I I totally forgotten I'd I'd bought that already. Well, great. Okay. <laughs> That's lovely. I'm ahead of my own game. I love it. We're prepared and, and we're doing things. So now we just have to uh, talk to Hodari, who is potentially in Bahari Bay. But you guys know what I want to do? You know what it's time for, especially since we need more money? It's time to go fishing and go see my favorite robot in the entire world. Oh, that person has a glider. That's so cool. I want a glider. I'm jealous. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we need to go to the docks, which is over to the left of town. You kind of go past these windmills. You'll see these windmills over here. And then we go this way. There's a lot of choppers over here. Just keep going. You can go through town as well. That's another way to do it. But just keep following the windmills is kind of how I like to do things. Keep following the windmills to the left. And then just keep going straight. You'll see this little arch here. And you'll see a little dock. This is where Einar lives. And Einar is my big old buddy who I can't wait to befriend. My favorite dude in the game. Oh, he is your fisher friend. Einar! Oh my god, look at him. He's so tall and big and glorious. Gosh, I love him so much. I can't even express it. I did not see you there. Ah, his voice too. Oh, it's so deep. Okay. Einar, <laughs> hello. You seem to be another new person. Unless I have previously made your acquaintance, in which case, my apologies for forgetting you. I am off. I should like, I need, he has like such a deep voice. I don't think I can get that deep. I am often too distracted by my oneness to take notice of such things as meeting new people. <laughs> okay. Uh, there seems to be so many new people lately. I mean, yeah, today's the open beta, so <laughs> there's going to be a lot of new people. Uh, but what is oneness? Look at his flower on his head and his fishing hooks. I love him so much. Silly human, the oneness is merely the oneness. <laughs> Sorry for asking. The oneness cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves through your face flaps. It must be experienced. Is he talking about like whistling? I can't whistle, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> I attempted and I'm like, I can't do this. Can't do it. Uh, for me, that experience usually involves much fishing. Hmm. I got your letter. You must have received my communications regarding my beloved pastime of fishing. I understand it is a customary for tutelage to require work that one does from home. Customary for tutelage to require work that one does. I, I don't know if it... <laughs> He's so cute. I can't. Okay. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot quite re recall what it is. Here, why don't you give that fishing rod of yours a... Uh, on your person a try. I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. Please save me. <laughs> save me, Aina. The turn hobbies is very strange to me. Shouldn't most things we do be done for enjoyment? Definitely agree. Of course. Oh, I love him so much. Personally, I do not see much of a point in engaging in activities I do not enjoy. Oh, look at him go. He just swung that thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there is actually a lot of people over here, which is fun because we get a fishing boost if we fish with other people. So I think you can see, uh, yeah, there's like a little green thing up at the top. I think that's friendly fishing boost, which is so awesome. Um, so I don't know how close or far I need to be, but I'm going to go fish next to uh, Midnight Wolf. Hello. I'm going to fish next to you if you don't mind. I'm, I'm trying to get the fishing buffs here. <laughs> But we cast our reel out and then we uh, we just chill. We just do a little fishing and we've got our uh, focus up. So we're going to get some extra points for this. Now that was just a little, a little tinge. We need to wait for the loud one. There it is. Okay. So this fishing game is a little bit interesting. What you want to do is move your mouse cursor back and forth, keeping the bobber in the center. And that is what's going to pull in. So we got a perfect catch. Look at us, midnight. Heck yes. <laughs> All right. And we're getting that fishing bonus by working together. It's so cool to be able to play on an MMO with other online players and get boosts from us all doing it together and things like that. So it's so much fun. I love it a lot. But here we go. Oh, and you do have to press your mouse button to reel in. If you don't, it will just stay in place, which is no fun. You know, you actually want to catch the things. 
So yeah, see how Midnight's just kind of moving their cursor back and forth? That means they're trying to keep the fish on the line. See if we can get, um, oh, Midnight is leaving. All right. Kind of move my thing here, maybe. That's good. I hope you had an e a good evening fishing, Midnight. I don't know who you are in the world, but I hope you were having a lovely time with Palea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's see if we can get another one here. There we go. What is this? I feel like I'm catching a bunch of like random things. Oh, Midnight's back. Hey, Midnight. What's up? There we go. Hey, <laughs> nice. So we got a wagon wheel. I think that was two now that we've caught one fish. <laughs> All right, that's not great. I'm trying to catch fish here. Catching everything but fish. Oh, there we go. Midnight. Yes, go, go, go. Oh, we're all doing so good. So awesome. I do need to go talk to Einar. Oh, there we go. Oh, is this a fish? I think so. So yeah, if I say if I move it this way, see it gets red and my bar starts going down. We don't want that. You want to keep the fish in the middle and some fish are harder than others. So there's a ghillie fin. Nice. All right, cool. Let's go talk to Einar and see what's Don't going on. I have crafted many adornments made from fishing imp imp implements. I can tell you're wearing them. <laughs> I find them quite aesthetically pleasing. I do too. I, I think it suits you. But I do sometimes wonder if I'm the only being who feels this way. No, I think you're, I think you're everything. <laughs> I think you're charming. Oh, that pleases me. I shall remember you. Uh, I shall remember you find my adornments charming. Oh, I find everything about you charming. Oh, I, I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope you were able to experience the same joy as I derived during such events. However, my time with humans taught me that your kind derives, uh, derives limited utilities from living fish. However, my time with humans taught me your kind derives limited utilities from living fish. Perhaps this is more suitable reward for your efforts. I do hope you will choose to continue this wonderful activity in the future. In the meantime, uh, if you find anything I believe will be of interest to you, if I find anything I believe will be of interest to you, I shall deliver it to you via the mail. Okay, Einar. Ah, that is amazing. What's in his basket? I guess just a lot of fish. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. So yeah, we can uh, we can do a little bit more fishing. It would be nice to get up to level two. I do kind of want to keep all of my levels relatively the same. We are almost out of focus as well. So part of me wants to use up those focus points. And you know, this fishing minigame is really, really calm and cozy. So while we do this, I just wanted to ask you guys how you're feeling about Palea. Are you playing? Um, is it has it been enjoyable for you? How are you liking the MMO side of things? Like I told you guys before, this is my first time with an MMO. And it is fantastic. I really like it. I haven't run into anybody, uh, you know, that's been trolly or anything. It's everyone in the community has been super nice and super fun and helpful. And I think we're going to see that the more we get into some multiplayer stuff later. I know there's a specific tree in this game called a flow tree that you need to chop with other players. So we'll have to ask in the chat if we ever need that. Like, hey guys, uh, I need some flow trees. Anyone want to come help? So that MMO aspect of things is definitely going to be interesting and fun. And, and just like this, I can literally see them fishing and pulling up things. And it is just... It's really cool. <laughs> I, I know I've been praising this game a lot, but it just, I think this is so creative and so fun and, and it's very similar to a lot of other things that you've seen, you know, playing games before, but at the same time, they, they do a very different take on a lot of things. Like the fishing is different, the, the storage is very different. I mean, the city is beautiful and it's just, it's so well done in my opinion. And yeah. That's all I'm going to say about gushing about it. I, I know I've been talking a lot about everything and how much I enjoy this game, but I really do think you guys should give it a try. I mean, it is, again, free to play, so why not? And I mean, it's so fun and beautiful and you can spend a lot of time doing it. And I just want to give some love to all the creators, because uh, the devs and creators of this game, because it's awesome. But here's Jell. We haven't met Jell yet, but we did uh, hear about them earlier. 
from Tish. So how can I be of service? Is there something you'd like to commission? Oh, you're still here. Oh, that was the quickest conversation I've ever <laughs> I've ever had. Okay, sounds uh sounds good. So we do need to go talk to Hodari and we need to talk to Hodari's daughter or son. I can't remember uh, which it was, and I can't remember their name either. Everyone has such interesting names that I start to get them mismatched. But I do want to get that stone smelter, so that's going to be something we do. Hey, look, it's Sifu. Hey, howdy. Ah, uh, good to see you here. Do you have a twin, or am I seeing double? Huh? Forgive me. I just beat Hadari in a drinking contest, and I haven't been the best for my sense of perception. Stop by anytime. Oh. Okay, well, I, there's many a human running around, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we've all started to blend together after a few drinks, who knows? Okay, so build and place a sawmill is something we need to do, and then I kind of want to wait until daytime to go see Hadari and then go over to the bay. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the plan. But yeah, we gotta finish building my house. Let's go get the sawmill done. That seems like something we can at least get a jump start on, too. So more stuff to go put in our inventory. Let's dump this off. We've got uh, fish, flowers, bombs, all kinds of things. Let's put that there and that there. And then, yeah, I gotta, I gotta sell these fish. Although, is this cooked fish? Yes, so. That's something I'm gonna need to eat. But I do also want to plant my seeds really fast i caught five of those gill gill fishes <laughs> okay i mean hey i'm good at catching one type that's for sure <laughs> i guess oh my all right let's get this last plot hoed and tilled and then this is where i'm gonna grow my cotton seeds here we go nice pressing four we should be able to go in and get these planted Awesome. And then, of course, we need to do a little bit of watering as well. We don't want our, our plants to not grow up big, strong, and healthy. Ah, oh, this is looking beautiful. I love this little animation. Such a good job. All right, let's see what we need for this sawmill. So if we go into crafters, yeah, basic... Oh, it's ready to craft. I literally have everything for this. Well, that's easy and nice and convenient. <laughs> Heck yes! All right, I like to see. Oop, going into tab mode. Let's go in. I think I'm gonna put this inside here. This is like almost like my little workshop kind of thing. Let me put this in the corner. Not quite. So yeah, that big saw blade's kind of making it a little bit hard to like fit it in here. But I think that's yeah, I think that's nice. Turn this into a workshop later. I do wish there was some lighting in here, though. We have that one dinky little light up there. It doesn't really provide much light, but that's fine. Okay, so we have in general storage, we have 10 of these. We need, it's a one-to-one, -one, and it takes a IRL minute to make a sapwood plank. So we can uh, turn that in. There we go. I guess we'll do 10 at a time. We needed 100 for this. Yeah, so that's going to take a while, but if we do a ton of tree chopping, then we can get that done pretty quickly. And and the cool thing about these, uh, too, is that you don't need any fuel for it. Because that would just be another expense, and I'm I'm really glad that they decided to, to do that, because, man, would that take forever. There is, I, I was kind of thinking about, too, it would be nice to get an upgraded axe, although I don't think that I have gotten, um... I don't think um actually wait mining i guess we'll see we can go talk to hodari and possibly unlock the recipe for that i'm not i'm not sure yet we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that one out later but yeah it's it's two in the morning in game what am i gonna do it's almost six you know we also do have a shipping bin here that we can sell things at so i can sell my fish to this sales bin coin purse running flat place items for sale in the bin to be sold soon okay so at six and six every day let's uh sell all my fish let's do that that's gonna get me a hundred gold oh next shipment is in nine minutes every 30 minutes per in okay cool 
Very nice. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can sell. I don't know if we're going to need this chopper fur. We got leather. That's really good. Are we going to need these horns? I don't know. Maybe we just sell all this stuff. I mean, these critters are so easy to find is the thing too. Uh, I wish I could sell these. Because I don't know what to do with them. Don't know what to do with them. All right. I think so far so good. I don't want to, I don't want to sell anything else because you never know what we're going to need later. All right, cool. Alrighty then. House is going to be on the way. We just need to go chop more trees. I think I'm going to go into town to do this actually because I am starting to feel like all the trees around my house are starting to vanish. Although maybe that's not a problem. Maybe we just clear this area out because we're gonna have to do it later anyway once we start expanding our land so i'm gonna do a bit of chopping i'm just gonna lay back relax and like i said do some chopping so i'll come back with you guys once i either level up or yeah i don't know i we move on to the next thing so i think we're about to level up to the next level here so this is gonna be awesome potentially no not on that one okay i'm hoping it's maybe on on the next tree let's go chop one of these ones that i think is actually gonna get us got a little harvest here okay come on come on come on i would like there it is the level three foraging all right so i believe that uh, ashura right is the one that's in charge of all that stuff so we need to go talk to him again because i think every level you unlock new recipes so we're gonna have to go check out what he's got installed but i'm just i'm just chopping ahead you guys i have a 92 in fact actually that's all the all the planks we need because it's a one-to-one -one, right oh yeah look at this thing go <laughs> so we currently have 10 so four five ten so i just need to get 100 Okay, so I think that is uh, exactly 100. So we just have to wait for all of these to be done. This is going to take a while, but we have everything in there that's necessary. So that's quite quite impressive. So craft a sapwood plank. I did that. I did do that. I did do that. I think I need to put this in my inventory. There we go to complete that quest. And then what I'm going to do is just put my, my planks in here. Or actually, you know what we could do? I think we can put them back. Yep, we can't put them... Oh, wait. I thought we could. Maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. We can't put them in general storage, though, and that's where I guess I'll hold them for the time being. So, yeah, that should be enough. I, my math is probably maybe off on that one, but I don't even know. Maybe not. Anyways, we need to go. It's almost daytime, so we need to go unlock some stuff in town. We're back in town. One thing that I've been enjoying about this game is... You get to kind of go back and forth. Oh, we got our first unable to connect. Oh no. We're back in town, ready to go see if we can get this stone brick or stone smelter recipe, as well as go to Bahari Bay, I think. Um, possibly if I, can, if I can make my way into town. A hey, roll, yes. Oh, I love that roll. I love that there's no fall damage. It's such a nice, convenient thing in this game, I will say, except for me climbing random small rocks. A bit odd, but you know, hey, it's fine. Anyways, let's uh, let's see. So I believe that we have Ashura over here somewhere. There you are, my friend. I need to I need to talk. I need to talk to you. I can't I can't jump over the wall. Can I go this way? Oh, where are you going? There is a floating broom. Oh my gosh, that's actually a thing. <laughs> People were saying that, and I was like, wait, what? Oh, we're in the we're in the alleyway. Okay. Uh, it's good to see you embracing forging. My son and I used to do it together all the time. I think you're ready for a new recipe I've got in stock. Hey, here we go for the standard axe. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Now I was going to buy more crops though. That was my thing I was going to do today. <laughs> heavy sawmill oh my gosh but honestly i do think getting a better axe would be worth our time and make things a lot easier for later so i'm gonna purchase that recipe you can always do fishing and bug catching you guys know i like that kind of stuff but uh if you've got any questions you know you can always come to me sounds good 
Uh, I fish more for relaxation than the results, uh, to tell you the truth. True, I don't remember the last time I actually caught anything. Sounds like you need to talk to Einar. I feel like he, uh, he would be very enthused to teach you some, some things, the life fishing. All right, let's go see if we can find Reth. I think we need to talk to Reth. Uh, that's the one we're going to. So 280 away. My goodness. Okay, that's quite far, but I think we can, I think we can manage. I just love looking at the scenery in this game. It's so atmospheric and beautiful. And it really just makes everything so happy and nice. Is this, uh, no, this is Haas. So we don't need to talk to Haas. We need to, is this heading towards uh, Bahari Bay by chance? We do need to go up there anyway. Ah, there, there's the, the patron we're looking for. Hello, Hodari. I usually work alone. I heard you've been putting that uh, pick I gave you to work. If you want to hone in your skills, build yourself a smelter. First step is to turn rocks into bricks. I got a couple other recipes in stock that can help you too. Check them out. All right, so this is the thing. We just spent all of our money. So we can't buy the recipe for the smelter or the copper bar or the ceramics, which we kind of need. So crud sickles. We, it looks like we're going to have to go uh, make a little bit of money, which, hey, I'm not opposed to. Uh, don't go and burn yourself on that. <laughs> I just ran out of bandages. How's the plot of land working out for you? It's a little small. It's doing great. I'd rather move into yours. That's so forward. My God. It's a lot of work. I'm going to say it's doing great. Good. Do you need any tips? Just ask. Sounds awesome. So I couldn't get into Bahari Bay, I believe is what it's called. Have I been calling it the wrong thing this entire time? <laughs> uh, it actually don't think it even says. I think. Yeah. Anyways. But I'm down by this, like, sewer area, and it says that I can go in here. What? Excuse me, what? I did not even know about this. I did not even know this was here. The music is so good. Oh my gosh, is there, like, there's, like, an underground market. Who works here? This is crazy. This is so cool. How do I unlock this? Hold on a second. This looks like a restaurant as well. Oh man. Zeki's general store. This will take you to Zeki's. Wait, so Zeki has like a little underground area where you can potentially buy things. I wonder, we probably have to befriend him oh my gosh this is the coolest little secret and find wow all right <laughs> well they actually came down here hunting for clay because i'm gonna need that to make stone bricks and things later and, and some crafting stuff so i've just been sort of walking around the this area down here this is usually where clay will generate is just kind of down by the water in fact here we go we found our first one first little hunk of clay <laughs> so yeah we're definitely gonna need this for all the things that we uh that we're gonna we're gonna take on later uh i'm probably gonna spend a little bit of time hunting as well i was gonna do some bug collecting but i really don't have uh i didn't make any stink bombs that's another reason we need clay is because i need clay to make my stink bombs for bug catching and i think that's gonna be sort of my primary use of um my primary way of getting money right now early game when I don't really have enough money for crops and things like that. So just comb in the beach shores for ooh, got lots of lots of deer here. I mean, speaking of hunting, might as well. Really? That spooked you? Of all things, we can sell uh, their hide and that could make us quite a bit of money, too. So uh, I think that's going to be the way we do things again, just still kind of looking for clay and stuff looking for chests just exploring areas that i've never really been to before oh that was a terrible shot it ran so fast sometimes i can i can draw back pretty quick and then get them but but yeah it's really hard and it slows you down there we go that was a good one good shot awesome yeah there we go hey 
Game Hunter 1, adequate. You've hunted 10 creatures. Awesome. You know what I also need to do? I need to get some focus going. That's what I need to do. Let me see if I eat something. Like, can I eat this? This will give me five focus. I guess we'll just eat one of those. It doesn't give me too much focus, but maybe just a tiny bit to give us a boost to our stats, especially our hunting stat. Oh, crap. I should have got the choppa. How did I miss? That was that was a blatant miss on my part. I was just so, like, just a little bit off. Oh, I wish I could catch these moths. I mean, I do have the specialty ones, but I don't want to spend those. Ah! Okay, I'm missing. This is like a mad woman here. They really move around so much. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. My shots are terrible. There we go. Ooh, this one's on the dock. Hey! Hunting a little too. That is exactly what I wanted. Sniped in the butt. Sniped in the butt. Uh, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh, you're <laughs> you're a person. Sorry, I drew my bow at you. There we go. Awesome, awesome. So we need to go find Haas, I believe. That way we can unlock some more stuff. Haas doesn't seem... Okay, I was going to say Haas doesn't seem too far away, but... 400 is quite far, but uh, it's actually not too hard to get around this map. It's pretty easy to go around, loot things out, collect things. Look at that. We have another player over there just kind of... Ooh, sounded weird over there. It's collecting some copper, it looks like. That's pretty cool. There he is. I see the man hoss himself. Hello, where's your, where's your dog friend? Your dog is usually with you. That's weird. Um, why have you returned? Did you think I would praise you for a job well done? Oh my god, so sassy. Uh, it is every Pallian's duty, a uh, Pallian's duty to help maintain the balance of nature. In the interest of perpetually perpetuating that balance, I am obligated to give you this. Uh, Cernuk have been a traditional source of meat for generations in Kilima, but the Chapas are not net are not natural to the environment. They overpopulate and destroy natural wildlife and vegetation. If you truly want to help the community, you will help eradicate this threat. My goodness. It is only the right it is only right that you humans do before you too begin to run wild. <laughs> you may leave me alone now. I'm sure any further contact can be conducted over mail. Ah, interesting. Okay, today has been an adequate day. I was able to hunt enough food to provide dinner for myself and my mother. That's sweet. And the pelts, sh uh, the pelts should fetch a fair price in Bahari. Awesome. So I need to I talk to talk you again, this. my friend. Uh, you are here. Good. If you insist, I'm going down the path of a hunter. You will need better equipment. Here we go. I'm willing to sell you recipes to make gear like mine, but remember, tools mean nothing if their owner does not have the skills to wield them. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So we don't have money to buy these right now, but these are going to help us way, way, way a lot. Way, way, way a lot. That makes no sense, but they're going to help us a lot in the long run. And if you guys heard that banging in the background, that is pretty sure fireworks that uh, people are sending off. Whoa, you can get a hunter's mannequin and targets and things that's pretty that's something all right we'll, cross paths sooner well hey thanks uh at least we ran into him because I, I definitely needed to get that done so let's go over to zekius and let's go sell some things i'm gonna sell my hide and and whatnot i don't want to sell too much of it but i think it would be nice to sell some stuff so we can get a little bit extra money here. Like we could probably sell maybe the choppa stuff, like the choppa, maybe the sh the meat. Oh, I can buy spoke bombs, but they're 20. Mm, okay, we may have to do a little bit of fishing, uh, but I can also go home if I want to and make some smoke bombs. But I want to get up my fishing level a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to head over to... Einar, I do want to get over to Bahari Bay at some point today, but 
there's just so much to do and i need to make money so that i can get uh, my house going so that's kind of honestly my main radar right now is is getting that stone smelter and i need money for that we need quite a bit of money so i think fishing right now and then selling the fish is gonna be our best option so let's uh let's do a little nighttime fishing with our best buddy einar <laughs> oh he's so awesome he he does move he he hangs out over here sometimes too but oh boy he's just the coolest so i'm curious about the fishing in this game if you actually the more you level up the more rare fish you get because i you know i've been fishing here and i've just been catching gillyfins and i don't know if you actually can unlock other other like i know there are different types of fish and stuff like that but it's like how do you get to them how do you unlock them do you have to be a higher level that would be quite interesting but we're really close to actually leveling up on my fishing skill so i'm i'm rather happy about this i'm like i said just gonna spend a little bit of time relaxing fishing and collecting up as much i can as much as i can for money so that we can get that stone stone furnace crafting station thingamajing hey there we go we've caught 10 fish and i think we're one more fish away from leveling up to fishing level two so i'm excited to see what einar says uh about me leveling up my fishing skill i'm, I'm hoping that i unlock some new cool cool things because with every level you unlock new stuff so i think this is the one guys we're reeling in i would love to get a fishing rod that reels a little bit faster because this process is quite slow uh to get them in but there we go we got another ghillie fin and there it is congratulations fishing is now level two all right einar i need to talk to you my I friend much oneness today. i feel much oneness today you have navigated safely to the docks this is wonderful news are you aware of how to exchange how the exchange of goods is performed between two willing parties i'm pretty sure i'm familiar with that yeah yeah i am uh, that's uh, that was an interesting way of putting that sentence <laughs> i am pleased to inform you that i now have a recipe shop where you may engage in the exchange with me boy i know you're a robot but i would love to engage in the exchange <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding okay so it looks like we can do the minor rod health booster recipe that's cool the standard rod we need to get up to level three so again just over time we unlock these things there's a worm farm that's pretty cool fine ro fine rod glow worm farm okay i'm sure that these are the things that unlock the kind of more rare type of fish there's bobbers and then again like if you go down below there's this fishing oh, fisher's aquarium which is just so cool like i would love that's such a flex if you have this in your house like you are you're a paleo expert at that point seriously holy crap please enjoy your purchase awesome i do not understand what majari or humans means Maj majiri majiri uh when they discuss the concept of work i do what i do for pleasure and for fulfillment of my oneness this is not what all beings do unfortunately not all beings yeah i feel badly for beings who must work i could not bear to spend so much time away from my oneness i am not practiced in conversation closing rituals god i love him <laughs> i am not practiced in conversation closing just say say goodbye just see ya adios goodbye yeah any of those will do really so yeah, uh, just trying to get more money. That's where we're at. I, I'm not actually sure how much fish it's going to take for me to get up to where... I think I need like 150 for us to get the smelter. Uh, but I, I think we might actually be pretty dang close. I really need to get more crops for my farm too. And that might actually be something that I do tonight. I do kind of plan on playing this game little bit off camera i do want to show you guys most of the process but i think a beautiful thing about video games is that it can be a re relaxation time for you and a time for you to play as um you know as you would like to and if you want to play on camera 
that's great. If you want to play on your own, that's great too. And so I'm definitely going to be playing this game. And honestly, most of the stuff I'm going to do is all grindy stuff. It's all going to be fishing and bug collecting and hunting. It's it's going to be watering my crops. It's just going to be the stuff that's not the most exciting to see over and over and over again, if you know what I mean. Um, I want to show you guys all the fun, really cool stuff. Um, not that fishing and all that stuff is not cool because it can be, but, uh, you know, over time, it's a little bit like, all right, we get it. <laughs> uh, so there we go. We got 170. I think that's actually going to be enough for what we need. So very, very cool. Uh, oh, there's Gina. Uh, should we talk to Gina? I don't really need to talk to her right now. We do need to find Adari again, though, um, because we need to get that stone smelter bot. So what we can do, I want to show you guys, I know this is super late in the video, so if you're still hanging on with me at this point, I just want you to know I appreciate you so much for watching the end of this video and just hanging out with me. That is so above and beyond, and I, I greatly appreciate it. But let's see. Um, we can one thing that we can do that's really cool on the map that I think a lot of people might not realize or know about is you can actually pin a person and follow them. What you can do is you can actually middle click on that person. So up at the top, it will show you if you have a quest with somebody, but oftentimes you might want to find somebody and you don't have a quest with them. So what you can do again is go to the map and then you can middle click on the person's face or the, you know, like the, yeah, you can middle click on the person's face and it will tell you exactly where that person is so that you can go and find them. So there is Ashura. We can go find him. And again, we don't have a quest with him, so he's not going to show up on our, on our dial up there. But if we did want to find somebody that we're not questing with right now, uh, we can just go like that and middle mouse click. That is also how you add waypoints to the map too. You can go to the map. You can click over here. Like for example, we need to go to Bahari Bay, which is over here. So we can just add a waypoint over there and that will head us off into the right direction that we need to go. So that's awesome. I was going to wait until daytime. In fact, I've been waiting several days to go over to Bahari Bay. I wanted to do it during the daytime, but honestly, I think I'm just going to head over and go check it out. I'm ready. And that is probably where we are going to find Hadari anyway, because he lives in Bahari Bay. So yeah, it's uh, it's time to go over there. I tried uh, accessing this area earlier and it would not let me. I wanted to give it a little bit of time and just kind of cool down because I think a lot of people might be entering and exiting servers at this point in time for the open beta. But yeah, I was not able to get through and it was kind of making me sad. So I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to stay in this area and just go do something else. But hopefully time has a bunch of time has passed. So we should be able to go and enter Bahari Bay with my fingers crossed, my toes crossed, my, my ears crossed, everything. Oh. Looks like Megan is trying to enter. We both might be stuck here. <laughs> we shall see. Here it is. We are at Bahari Bay. So uh, we got to give it a little time. It might be a little stuttery as we walk into here just because we're loading up a, a new area. Got to give it a little, a little time and patience. Another great area, you guys, to go hunting and collecting for bugs is Bahari Bay. It is, it is really great to be here. There's lots of cool things, and this is where our man lives. <laughs> this is where uh, who we're looking for lives, I think. Uh, Hodari? I believe him and his, his kid live here. But I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to find them, so we're just going to have to walk around. I mean, this place is beautiful to explore. There's a little fishing area. In fact, we could go fish next to them and give them a little bit of a boost, but I'm kind of on the hunt to... To find the characters that we're looking for, uh, we might just have to run around a little bit. Mm, oh, yep! Look, we have a we have a flag over here, little yellow flag. Beautiful! Look at this workshop. It's a cute little smeltery with crystals and furnaces. Little embers flying around. It's very atmospheric. So this is Najuma. I might just uh, make nicknames for people because sometimes I can't remember the full name. So I might call him Juma. Juma? Najuma. Or Juma. I like Juma. Oh, 
Oh, hi, I'm Juma. Najuma. <laughs> I work with my dad in the mines, or at least I used to before he said it was too dangerous. Not that I meant to complain uh, to a complete stranger, so sorry. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Don't even feel bad about that. Uh, nice to meet you too. Wait, uh, I just said that. Forget I said anything. Uh, I hate to be so blunt, but do you think you could make me a glider? Oh, I can help you out with that. I've been troubleshooting my glider tech lately, and I need a bunch of test sub uh, volunteers to help me with the aerodynamics and stuff. Uh, I do it myself, but my dad's been really overprotective lately. He won't let me in the mines, won't let me jump off cliffs. Ugh. Well, if you're inter interested, I can make one. If you're interested, I can make one for you too. Just bring me these supplies. Ah, okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, enjoy your gliders. So, uh, looks like I didn't really get anything uh, glider-wise. That's quite interesting. Let me check my quest really quickly. Maybe it, it's hidden under here. So we still have gardening. We need to go back to our house. It's been forever. Like a bird. Here it is. Okay, can I pin this? Yes, nice. Okay, so we need to get some planks and oh gosh fabric and leather so this is probably definitely going to be a quest that we work on tomorrow um because i do plan on playing tomorrow a bit more i'm really focused on getting my house done tonight so that we can we can have it built overnight and then i can have that ready for tomorrow uh but something tells me there's still so much to this game so i mean we've already done so much in this episode but there's also still so much to accomplish uh, so I do want to get my house done. This will be tomorrow. But anyways, I'm glad I got that pinned. So I still need to find... I need to find your dad. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea where he potentially could be? Look how big this place is. Tamala, whoa. We need to go all the way out there. The outskirts, golden statues. The lighthouse lagoon. I haven't even been to most of this area. I've been like around here. Bahari Bay is definitely going to be a place that we explore together in a future episode. We might even just dedicate a whole episode to coming to this area and finding things and exploring and finding chests and whatnot, doing some fishing and, and all that good stuff. But it's time to head back. Uh, I think we, I guess, Hadari's probably just going to be on the other side. I thought he'd be, be over here, but I guess not. <laughs> So it looks like we left Bahari Bay a little bit too soon and Hadari is actually here. So I pinned him on my map using the middle mouse click thingy that I showed you guys. And I think he's in this house. The thing is, hopefully he's not hiding. Hey, there we go. Oh, they have that cool outfit from the premium shop. Hodari, hello. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Anything I can help you with? Let's do a little chat first. Saw you out there swinging your pickaxe the other day. Keep working at it. Awesome. So we can go here and go to the mining guild store. And this is where we can pick up the smelter. How awesome is that? We can get the copper bar. We, I believe we also might need ceramics. But I think copper bar is probably going to be the better one for us to get. And then our next unlock is at level 3. And that's the upgraded pickaxe. Which is incredible. So we'll have to come back and find him for those. You're but... Boy, am I just excited. We finally got the stone smelter, so I need to go get that on my plot ASAP. It is time to swiftly head back home and get that started. I'm so excited to be building my house. I know I'm going to need a lot of resources for it, but I'm not exactly sure what I need yet. We might need some stone bricks. I think it's just stone bricks and the wood, right? If I'm remembering correctly, I sure hope so. Back up to my house I go. There's the waterfall. I believe if we go right up around this corner, we should be getting home here. There's our little house there. I wonder who owns that. I have no clue. Love these lamps though too. All the decorations are so scenic and so nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yep, right here. Look for the arch and, and you're, you're on your way home. <laughs> Pretty easy. Hey, my shipping bin sales. I got 50 gold. And we've got mail to check. What else is here? We got my carrots. Oh, it's gonna be our first harvest. Beautiful. Let me grab those. We're gonna have to replace our, our carrots there. And then how is our wood doing? This is still going, but I'd like to see. Yeah, we're 64 down. 
that's incredible. We are uh, definitely cruising along. Let's load off my inventory here. Let's do some of this action. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, my storage is full. Crud. Okay, we might have to think about making a, a new storage bin. All right, sounds good. Now, what do we need for the stone cutter? I'm so intrigued. This is such a new, this is a new thing for us. So we got the sawmill basic, or it's the smelter, not the stone cutter. What am I saying? Smelter, we can make this. So we need the snook hide and then, yeah, just flint and stone. Easy peasy. That's gonna be nice. All right, time to get placing. Should I put it in the workshop? I'm kind of almost making this into a workshop. But it's also somewhat my house for the time being, so it's a little bit hodgepodge here. Um, maybe we put this outside, just because there's not really a whole lot of space. So it looks like we can put it here. <laughs> a bit of an awkward tight squeeze, but I, I mean, hey, that's fine. Oh, Kenley's here. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go give him a chat. See what's going on. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Oh my gosh, he was just about to leave. <laughs> I see you've been quite busy around here. That's good. Very good. So, uh, do you have anything for me? Do I have anything for you? No? Like a housewarming gift, of course. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, I think you have it backwards. I have a half-eaten mushroom skewer. Mm, I think you have it backwards. Is that uh, how humans do it? How strange. Well, here in Kiloma, when someone new moves into the neighborhood, they go around with small gifts for their neighbors, snacks and toys and the like. If you ever want to be invited to one of my wife's dinner parties, I suggest making the rounds. So I have to go give gifts to the villagers. That's, that's actually, that's a really fun way of doing things, but okay was not expecting that jeez i have so much mail i guess we haven't been home in a while <laughs> our buddy einar so salutations fellow enjoyer of the act of fishing would you like to learn more about this act if so please find me by the docks and i shall teach you if you would not like to learn more please do not come by the lake and i shall not teach you i will also not sell you this recipe for a rod health booster Okay, <laughs> that almost sounds a little bit passive aggressive, but like I know he doesn't mean it like that. But it's like that's really funny. He's I adore him so much. Okay, what is Haas gonna say? You may not have seen me as I stalk my prey in the forest, but I've seen you, creepy, <laughs> uh, brandishing your makeshift bow with abandoned scarring every beast in sight. If you must share my hunting grounds, I would like to teach you to do it more effectively effectively please see me once you improve i think we did see him sifu apologies for my son's rudeness the other day i wanted to let you know you are welcome in this valley if anybody says otherwise they're gonna have to go through me as a welcome gift i made this choppa skin rug with one of Haas's pelts just uh the thing for a hunter like you the rest to rest their weary feet on that's super sweet sifu is so sweet Ashura, here we go. You just keep getting better and better with that axe of yours. Stop by later and I'll teach you how to build an even better one. I love that. Uh, how are you settling into the village? I hope you found the residents here as friendly and welcoming as I know them all to be. Uh, there's one final resident you've yet to meet. Should you have the time and the will, I ask that you speak with the dragon at his shrine north of the village. You may not be his child, but I'm sure we'll welcome you. I sh I'm sure he'll welcome you to Kilima just the same. Oh, the dragon. That sounds really cool. Sounds like a fun mission. Another from Ashuria. Oh my gosh, gold. I've heard you built your first sawmill. I still remember when I made my first plank. The sides were so warped and uneven. Everyone thought it was an art project. Anyways, Ashe? Ashe has this program to encourage new builders that means you get a rebate on the cost of that sawmill recipe. I've attached it in this letter. Don't spend it all in one place. That's incredible. Free buddy. I know. Oh, makeshift herb planter. That's so cute. Grow your own sweet leaf at home with this improve, improved planter. 
The other day, my hook caught an odd fish that I realized was not a fish after all, but rather an old leather foot encasement. I put the encasement aside and then noticed a small bit of sun consuming life growing inside several days later. Its determination and newness to the world reminded me of you. That's sweet. So I gave it to Ani to deliver to you via mail. That's adorable. All right, and then Zeki, what's going on? Dear Nash, here's a little something as thanks for your continued patronage, pal. Come spend it all in one place. Mine. <laughs> Zeki, that's awesome. What is this? A lucky coin. Use that Zeki's machine to get an unexpected reward. Oh, that's what the gumball. Yeah, the gumball machine. Sick. Oh, that is that is exciting. I kind of want to go over there, but oh, look at the daytime. It's so beautiful. Gosh, I love living here. I love being here. It makes me so happy. It makes me feel like I'm at Disney and I love every second. All right, so next thing. So what did we need for this again? Yeah, we need a 35 stone brick. That's a lot. I'm hoping that we can craft that in here, which I would assume so. Yes. Okay, so 35 stone brick would mean we need 35 times 2. All right, so we need 70 stone and we currently only have 55. So we got to go. We got to go. You guys already know we got to go mining <laughs> a little bit, clearing out this area just to get 50. So I think or <laughs> to get 50, we need to get 20 because we already have 50 is what I was trying to say before my brain farted all over the place. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yes. Hit the rocks, girl. Get the job done. Uh, I need food, too. I really haven't uh, been focusing too much on the, the food side of things. I also do not have any focus, so I'm not getting any extra kind of bonuses for this, which is a little bit sucky, but hey, it is what it is. It's all right. As long as we get the, what we need here, we'll be good. So, yeah, I needed, I, I think I was 70. So what we can do is we can uh, combine our stone there and then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to give us 70 and then we can just plop the 70 in here and that should be everything for our house. So I think I'm going to play a little bit more tonight because I just want to contribute these over to my house and get that finished. So there's probably not going to be too much more today that I'm going to play, but I got to wait for these to be done. We have done so, so much. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to wait for these to get all completely finished. We still have quite a lot of time. Like this is going to take at least another 20 minutes. This is going to take one minute per each i mean that's gonna take over probably over a real life hour so uh yeah and then yeah it's just it's gonna take some time so i am going to uh, catch you guys very soon to finish out this episode but in real life i'm gonna take a little break but uh, i hope you guys are enjoying paleo and i'll see you in just a second hello guys and welcome back after my little break i believe that everything should be finished for our house which is exactly what i wanted to wait for so check it out, we've got the 94 planks here. We can put those up with the six that we have and we should have, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, that's a full inventory, right? Okay, so, and I, there's a hundred. I was like, what is going on with this? Full inventory is what's going on. And then we have the 35 from that. And we got the quest complete brick by brick as well okay okay we did it we have everything officially for our house so if we move these sliders over we can contribute the entire lot look at that and then we get the a nice little roof over our head being built so this is gonna take time like i said this takes eight hours to get a new expansion onto your house real life hours like not in game hours real life hours so this is definitely something that we are going to come back to tomorrow. Another thing that we've got going on is we have our first set of weeds here. So let's de-weed that and pick up all of our onions. Do a little bit of watering as well. So I need to go uh, talk to Badru because my quest told me that I need to. So 
That's probably gonna be something we do here in just a second. Feeling very, very good about getting the house done. That was the main thing that I wanted to do today. I really want to go uh, get some more crops and stuff. So if you guys come back in the next episode and see that my crops are, are made, then uh, don't be surprised if I have more crops. So Hodari, heard you're setting up a smelter. Good job. I'll get 100 cash. Uh, Eshe got that program she set up to encourage investing in Kilima's infrastructure or something. Anyways, what it means for you is a little rebate on the price of your first recipe. Nice. All right. All right. Eshe seems to be uh, helping us a bit. Is it Esh or Eshe? I'm not sure. I do want to pop into town. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it's six. We just got more mail. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mark that one as red. Okay. I was like, wait a second, wait a second here. I do want to put a few things away. I want to go sell these because I'm not sure I need these, but we did get an onion seed back. So that's quite interesting. Is there anything else? Wow, we have so much stuff that we need to put away. Uh, and some stuff we can decorate our house with here or a little, our little tent. So first things first, I have this nice cute rug. This is like a choppa skin rug that we got from... Sifu, so let's uh, maybe put that there. I think that looks nice. And we also got this from Einar. It's a little shoe with a plant in it. It is adorable. So I'm thinking maybe we put that next to our butterfly. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's all looking good. Time to head off into town, sell some things, do some things, use our our lucky coin and try to see if we can find Madru. I think tomorrow I'm going to go talk to the dragon shrine. I'm going to have my house finished, so we'll work on that. And I think I'm going to do the gifting of the characters tomorrow as well. Because we have to give out five gifts and I'm not quite sure what everybody likes. So I'm going to have to figure that out in between today and tomorrow. So that'll be good. Okay, Badger seems to be out at his farm, so that would be good. There's Sifu. Hey, Sifu, thank you for the rug. Thanks, girl. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Yeah, I think he's probably just going to be over at his farm, so that's probably a place that we want to go check out. But we're going to run by Zeki, so let's just quickly go see if we... Oh, wait. Furniture store. Furniture store. Let's see if there's anything new, but I'm going to go to Zeki's and sell some things, too. Anything going on? Wow, that's a beautiful bench. Love that. Love this plant. Oh, I love it. If that had little mugs on it, that'd be so cute. I mean, it's, it's cute with candles, so I do like it. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. There's a Ravenwood set, Dragon Tide set, Homestead set. There is also, uh, what other sets are there? Killama set, I think. Yeah, Killama banner. Look at that dragon's hide mirror. That's sick. You've got a nice industrial chair, the industrial set, the chic set, and there it is. Yeah, so it's tons of cute stuff. I mean, I like it all. I, I just can't afford any of it now, but that is what we're about to go fix. We are going to go sell some things to the little shop here. All right, Zeki. Let's make some money today. So we're going to sell my onions. That's going to get us 200. Dang, that's really good. And then so this is another 45. There's 500. We could get the backpack upgrade. And then I won't have to worry about backpack space. This thing is only 500. Technically spending um, some stuff. But honestly, I, I kind of want to do it. I, I think a backpack could be very useful for us. Especially with collecting so many resources. So that is what we're going to do. The large backpack. Our next one is 5,000. We're really going to have to see if we can make some money here. So, wow, you've got more space. Keep saving to expand your backpack further. Hey, okay, can do. And then I also want to use my lucky coin to get a box and see what's inside here. So let's open this together. Pressing three and then left. No, right clicking. I get my rights and left confused. I got some wild garlic. Nice. You know what I'm going to do because we just spent all of our money. Sorry, Zaki, you gave me some free stuff and, and I'm going to give it back to you. <laughs> That's probably not the best way of doing things, but hey, it's fine. So next thing we're going to do is go see Badru. <laughs> that rhymed and I like it. I believe if we go this way, if you kind of follow the horseshoes, 
this is where we'll get to Badru's farm. Yeah, it looks like he is on his farm. So just keep running straight. You're going to jump over this fence like so and find this little arch with a horseshoe. That'll lead you right to the farming area. Really easy to get to. It can be a little confusing though at first, but there's tons of animals and really, really cool um, bugs and stuff over here. So it's nice. You also can come over here and buy crops, but they're very, very expensive. It is easier to just grow them yourself. So we are going to be holding more crops and things later, but, um, or, you know, farming them and then holding them in our inventory. But right now we're kind of selling everything. Anyways, Badru, I'd like to have a good old chat. It sure has been a, a while. Let us catch up, shall we? Uh, I grew some crops. Well, I'll be. Those look mighty delicious. Well, I did sell them, but I took pictures. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, have this. I can't wait to see what you'll grow next. Ah, that worked a lot better this time. It's hard to be mad at life when the sky looks like this, don't you think? Oh, I definitely think so. This, this game is beautiful. It's hard. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying life at this moment. Look at that cloud. What do you think it looks like? An adorable armu? Uh, a head of lettuce? Uh, a cloud? The feeling of tranquility. I, I feel like we should uh, do a head of lettuce. <laughs> a head of lettuce. I see it. I wanna. I was gonna say a big circle, but I guess you're more of the creative type. Ah, oh, maybe you're just hungry. That could be. Ah, uh, he is a comedian. <laughs> you're kaling it a day. Oh, we gotta go see if if uh, there's. I think uh, Delaney is her name, but here is my boy, Niall. We can't leave this video without saying goodbye to my boyfriend. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Chat with Niall. Uh, Ani's always talking about going to these on these great big adventures, but it's fine. But I'm fine here on the farm with the Ormus and the Peckies. Hey, what are the Peckies? Oh, okay. Are these the big? These are the Ormus. Hello, look how cute you are. Oh my, they're all just eating. They're all chilling. I wonder if they're going to be able to walk around later. I don't know. That'll be interesting. Or if we can have them as pets. That would be super cool too. But yeah, guys. Um, So basically, we are waiting on our house. Tomorrow, we're going to con cons <laughs> not consume, commune with the Dragon Shrine, give five people gifts, we are going to explore more of the game as well as decorate. And we are also hopefully going to accomplish what we need to for getting my glider. That's going to be so fun. So there's still so much to do in this MMO. We are we are also seriously only level one and two on everything. So I'm excited to keep leveling up and see if I if I get any uh, get any better or unlock any new things. I think it's going to be so much fun and so cool. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave that section here or this video here. It's been a long one, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some homework done or house chores or even a nap. Um, either way, I hope you had a good evening, morning or afternoon. I can't wait to play more tomorrow and see what this game has in store. So new video will be coming out very soon of my second day in Palia. So I hope you guys, I hope to catch you for it. In between episodes, last thing I want to mention is in between episodes, I will probably be playing a little bit. Um, I'll probably be doing some bug catching and collecting and uh, just trying to make a little bit more money and possibly planting more crops. So if you guys see that I've leveled up a little bit, don't be surprised. It's it's going to be part of the grinding process. This game is going to be quite grindy, but I promise I won't do any of the big things without you guys. Once you've seen hunting once, you've seen hunting a million times. So I'm going to kind of do quite a bit of that stuff in my free time, in my relaxation time. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day in Palea, and I will catch you in my next Palea episode or one of my other videos. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!